Yes, uh, we thank God, Christ, our hiding place. <laughs> Christ is our hiding place. Uh, we have to understand that um, when God decided to create a hiding place, He is the one who knows very well uh, what is happening outside. And as you are going to discover, uh, there's nothing that is happening outside which is off uh, his hand. In other words, he is the one who has actually engineered uh, the happenings that is outside the hiding place for the hiding place to be in reality a hiding place. <laughs> so you cannot say, I have created this as a hiding place. If the situation outside is calm, if the situation outside is peaceful, yes. if the situation outside is friendly, <laughs> uh, you just invite people and say, this is a hiding place. No one will dare uh, enter that hiding place. Even if they enter, they do not understand the significance of that place, the hiding place. Mm -hmm. And you must take note of the title of the sermon. Yes. We did not say Jesus is the hiding place. <laughs> we said Christ is the hiding place. Yes. You are going to also discover that the hiding place was not originally there. Yes. It was created. <laughs> it was prepared. It was made yes. for that place. So when that place, the hiding place was made or was created, God made sure that it is only it is the only place yes. that is going to be safe. The only place that is going to be safe. And any other place outside that is not going to be safe. So that's why I continue to emphasize the meaning and the significance of the phrase hiding place. Yes. <laughs> So we are going to discover um, what the Lord, out of his love, what he did to us uh, in order for us to really understand what is, what is Christ to us, who is Christ to us. Uh, I know most of you say, ah, it's simple. Christ is our Savior, Christ is our Redeemer, Christ, so many songs that uh, we, we sang about Christ or on Christ. But it's one thing to sing, Brother Nelson, yes. it's the other thing to, to understand what you mean by what you were singing. Yes. I, I can assure you, so many songs that we've been singing in the shrines, some of them I don't even know the meaning up to now. I continue to ask people, what is the meaning of this song? Or what was the desire of the one who composed this song? Yes. He wanted us to reverence God in what way or about what? What is the meaning of it? But mm -hmm. most of the songs which do not have meaning, they are very, very much uh, melodious. Yes. yes. Most of the songs which do not have meaning, they are entertaining. They are very pleasant to hear, to the <laughs> ear. But they do not have meaning. But we don't want to raise a church number one, which is not established in the knowledge of what they are uh, worshipping God. Yes. Uh, what understanding, what, what brings you to worship God is what matters to God than whatever uh, things you are going to do. Yes. 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 God is not moved by that. Yes. So we're going to read from the book of Revelation chapter 12. This is our first scripture. We're going to read verse 1 and 2, then... Maybe we skip verse 3 and 4. 
we go to verse number five. Yes. So let's let's read verse one and two. Revelation twelve. Yes. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. Yes. A woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pained to be delivered. Verse number five. And she brought forth a man, son, a man child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up un unto God and to his throne. Yes. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared of God, that they should feed her. There a thousand two hundred and three score days. You see now, so this is a sign which uh, John, the Apostle John, yes. saw. It's a wonder which the uh, Apostle Joshua uh, saw in heaven. Yes, a woman who was actually clothed. Um, he was actually putting on the sun. Yes, and the moon was uh, on her feet. Yes, and uh, this is the kind of a woman she saw. <laughs> Which was, of course, representing the the, the believers, the New Testament yes. uh, church, those who have been saved. Yes. Because um, you are going to realize that uh, this woman, uh, which was putting on the light, mm -hmm. which is the the, the sun yes. itself, which is the attire, mm -hmm. uh, Christ is, is is our attire. Christ is what we we we, we put on. We have put on Christ. Uh, remember, if we go to uh, the book of uh, uh, Galatians, Galatians chapter 3, yes. uh, from verse 27, Galatians chapter 3, verse 27, yes. what are we putting on? For as many of us as have been baptized into Christ, have yeah. put on Christ. So those who have been baptized into Christ, they have put on a new attire. Yes. Uh, that attire is called Christ. And so many scriptures in the Bible, which you are going to see, uh, the reason why I said the sun, which was putting on, it was actually representing Christ. Yes. Because that is the attire of this woman. And take note of how this woman uh, got to put on this attire. That's why I started by saying, as many as were baptized into Christ. They've yes. put on Christ. Yes. Which means you don't just wake up and say, my attire, I'm putting on Christ uh, without being baptized into Christ. Yes. And if you read the book of Malachi, Malachi chapter 4, you can open Malachi chapter 4 and read verse number 2, or you may read from verse 1 to 2, Malachi chapter 4, so that we may see who is this, what is the sun, because this sun, it is, a representation of, of light because if we are talking about the sun, yes. the S-U-N, mm -hmm. uh, the S-U-N, the sun, yes. we, 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 we realize that the, here on earth, the sun is the source of, of light. Yes. Uh, all energy that we use uh, is actually obtained from the sun. Yes. The sun is the source of light. And as we are going to see from the book, the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 1 and 2, we have our Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of Righteousness. Yes. Read Malachi, chapter 4. For behold, the day cometh yes. that shall burn as, as an oven, and yes. all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubbled, stubbled. And the day that cometh shall bend them up, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the store. Yes, so we are going to see that um, uh, this attire which this woman is putting on, is actually um, representing the doctrine. When yes. you talk of Christ, uh, it, you have to understand sometimes the dimension of the Godhead that will be bringing out in that particular teaching. Yes. 
So this attire is actually representing the doctrine. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why we say is putting on Christ, it is because the doctrine that you have received, uh, whereupon you were baptized now yes. into Christ, it was a gospel which was centered on Christ. Yes. It was a Christocentric gospel. Yes. Everything that was being preached, mm -hmm. it was about Christ, it was on Christ, it was for Christ. Yes. And that's why it's as good as putting on Christ. And if you read in Colossians chapter 3, you are going to see uh, why I'm saying it is about the doctrine yes. where the Apostle Paul was, was showing the, the church at, at, at Colos. Yes. Uh, you can read verse number 10. Maybe for us to understand the mm -hmm. context, we have to see the putting off of another attire and the putting on of a new attire. Maybe start to read from verse number 8. But now you also put off all these yes. anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. So what, what should we put on? Lie not one to another, yes. seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds. So the old man with his deeds used to be our attire yes. before we, we found this new attire. So what are we going to put on now? And have put on the new man. You must put on the new man. Which is renewed in knowledge yes. after, after the image of him that created him. You see now. So you must put on the new man. This new man is renewed in knowledge yes. after the image of him that created, created him. him. Yes. You see? Mm -hmm. With the image of Christ. Yes. After the image of Christ. Yes. So the knowledge of Christ is the same as the new attire. Yes. You have put on new clothes, the new attire. So when he said in Galatians chapter 3, you are now putting on Christ. And yes. now in Colossians chapter 3, he's saying, put on <laughs> the new man. Yes. It's like the, we have an attire called Christ. Yes. And then we've got an attire called the new man. Yes. But it's not it. It's, it's talking about the same, the same, same. thing. Yes. It's yes. addressing the, the doctrine yes. that you have now received. Mm -hmm. So this woman in Revelation chapter 12, she was putting on the sun. That was the attire. But yes. on her feet now, she was actually... Uh, stepping on the moon. I don't have time to go deeper in explaining this. We've got quite a number of other sermons uh, that uh, explained in detail. I remember the, the Genesis chapter 1 when these two lights were, were actually created. The other one, it was actually uh, the greater light, which is the sun, yes. was going to rule during the day. Mm -hmm. And the lesser light, which is the moon, it was actually ordained to, to mm -hmm. rule during the night. Yes. And um, we have come to understand that this new moon, yeah, among other things, but pr primarily it represents the, the Old Testament. Yes. And that's what, that's what we always do. You are going to see very soon, <laughs> this woman is always putting her feet on the moon, yes. which is the Old Testament. It shows that the Old Testament is under uh, oh. <laughs> the feet of the New Testament believer or church. And you know the feet, they represent uh, the preaching of the gospel. Uh, we know the, the, the from Song of Solomon chapter 7, and we also know from Romans chapter 10, from verse 15, the feet, they represent the preaching of the gospel yes. or the preachers. So the reason why this woman is always standing on the moon, it shows that, number one, she's no longer observing uh, what was prescribed yes. in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. The Old Testament is actually under yes. uh, the feet. That's it's, the moon. Yes, mm -hmm. it's the moon. Yes. It's actually under the feet of this woman, yes. which means Sabbath is under the feet, mm -hmm. tithe, the law of tithe is under the feet. Uh, all other laws that you have in the Old Testament is under the feet. Yes. What it means is, instead of us observing, instead of this woman, to observe the Old Testament. This woman is learning Christ yes. from the Old Testament. Yes. That is the relationship between uh, what this woman is putting on, which is the sun, mm -hmm. which is the source of light, yes. which is our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. and the moon, which is under her feet. Yes. 
which means we don't struggle now with some if something is under your feet it doesn't trouble you yes. anymore mm-hmm. it is a sign that you you have you have, you rule over that particular particular yes. thing yes so this is what happens to this woman if this woman goes to the book of genesis the book of exodus the book of deuteronomy the book of numbers the book of judges the book of esther the book of nehemiah the book of Habakkuk, the book of Isaiah, all the prophets. If you see this woman, you actually tell that indeed the moon is under her feet. It's not part of the attire. Because if if the moon was going to be part of the attire, yes. what it means is we are going to observe what is prescribed in the Old Testament. It's not, uh, it's not part of the attire. Mm-hmm. The moon is not part of the attire. It's not part of the clothes. Yes. which this woman was putting on. The moon is actually under her feet. Yes. That is the position. Mm-hmm. It's under her feet. Yes. And this woman was traveling to give birth to a man child, but we're going to prophesy which this child <laughs> is because these days we have got so many people want to claim that the scriptures in the Bible, they were talking about them mm-hmm. or about their spiritual fathers or so. So if if verse 5 was not going to be there in verse 6, we're going to find other people who are going to come and say, this is the child mm-hmm. that the, the Revelation chapter 12 was talking about. But if you go to verse 5 and 6, you see that yes. after that main child was born, soon after the main child was born, mm-hmm. she was taken yes. and she was actually uh, caught up unto God, yes. to his throne. Yes. So those who wanted to be very ambitious, I think they are very careful not to include themselves that they are the main child <laughs> which was actually given birth in Revelation chapter 12. Yes. This was talking about our Lord Jesus Christ. Soon after he came on this earth, yes. he actually suffered. And after the suffering, after the death on the cross, he was actually caught up unto God. He actually went to the throne, to the throne of God. Yes. And, and there is no doubt about it. It is Christ, um, our Lord. There. But yes. I, when I used to read this, uh, this chapter, chapter 12 of Revelation, chapter, uh, the book of Revelation, I, it, it seems as if the, there is no connection. Mm-hmm. You see what we did, Brother Nelson. We read yes. verse 1 and 2. Yes. And we did not read verse 3 and, and, 4. and 4. Then yes. we went to verse number 5. Yes. If you read for the first time, you, you start to wonder, what is John talking about? Mm-hmm. Because soon after telling us about this woman, yes. we are told about another wonder, another <laughs> sign. Yes. Yes. And, Ana- there, yes. and there appeared another wonder in heaven. Yes. And behold, a great red dragon, yes. having seven heads and yes. ten horns, yes. and seven crowns upon his heads. Yes. And his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven, Yes. and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, yes. which was ready to be delivered, yes. for to devour her child yes. as soon as it was born. You see now. Yeah. You see the connection now yes. of verse, verse, verse 2 and verse 3. Yes. And I like this connection because mm-hmm. it is going to help us as we understand uh, the, 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 the sermon today. Yes. Christ, our hiding place. Yes. We are going to see <laughs> why God created uh, this hiding place. Yes. Why did he make the hiding place available? Why? And as you are going to see, the the intention of the red dragon yes. was very clear. Yes. It wants to. It wanted to uh, devour yes. the main child. Mm-hmm. That was the intention. And on verse number five, we see then. Uh, Yes. The, 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 the main child was taken into the throne of God. Yes. And verse number six, you can read what happened. And the woman fled into the wilderness. Yes. Where she had a place prepared of God. Yes. That they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. You see, yes. so this this woman as she fled to the to the wilderness. Mm-hmm. At first I used to think that uh, the woman was very wise. Mm-hmm. That's why she discovered that um, I was going to be destroyed. Now it was no longer war between the, 
the, the, the drug one mm -hmm. and the main child. Mm -hmm. Because the main child is no longer touchable. <laughs> the time for the drug one to touch the main child, it only existed uh, when the main child was not yet caught up unto God, <laughs> to his throne. Once the main child is caught up unto God to the throne, mm -hmm. uh, the, the drug one, the ambition to touch the main child mm -hmm. is no longer there. Mm -hmm. But now, mm -hmm. the dragon knew that this is the woman yes. who gave birth to the main child. Yes. So now that I see that the main child is caught up in, unto God, to his throne, yes. so I think I perceive the woman is now vulnerable. And if the woman is now vulnerable, I can now pursue the, the woman. But there is something that is hidden in those scriptures which is not actually um, narrated in, in, in this narrative. Yeah. But there is a connection, Brother Nelson, <laughs> as we are going to see. The time that the main child was caught up unto God, yes. to his throne, yes. that is the time when the place was created. <laughs> <laughs> the creation of the place or the preparation of the place where the woman was going to flee mm -hmm. into the wilderness mm -hmm. to hide yes. from what this uh, dragon wanted to do, mm -hmm. to destroy. And as soon as the main child was caught up into heaven mm -hmm. and to the throne of God, soon after that, we hear about a, a place that was prepared in the wilderness where this woman uh, fled there. To that place, yes. There's a specific period <laughs> in which, <laughs> in which she is going to be. Uh, the, the scripture says, "They are they <laughs> which should feed her." Yes. There. Yes. Which means whatever she needs, she has to stay in that place, mm -hmm. and she must not move. Mm -hmm. She must not desire to say, I, "I'm, I'm. This place is now very, very familiar with me. Mm -hmm. I think I need to go back to." That place before I fled to this uh, place which was prepared for me. Musarawe wa apana. So this is Jadiwa. Nukuti mukazu anuda kujiga. Mukazu anuda kureirwa. Mukazu anuda kitwa se. So this is Jadiwa mukazu. No fana kitwa panzimbo. Yaka gazirirwa. Namari kuti iti kuti iti kesho. Saka it's 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 a fixed place. Yes. It's a fixed place. And if you are going to realize, Brother Nelson, yes. uh, we wanted to see what was the whole purpose of this woman to flee mm -hmm. to, the, to the wilderness. Yes. Uh, let's see what happened when the woman saw that the, she could not fight anymore. Um, uh, and she's, when she saw that she could not prevail. Yes. Then let's see what happened. Verse <laughs> number 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast in unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. Yes. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle. Yes. That she might fly into the wilderness. Yes. Into her place where she was where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time for from the face of the serpent. You see? Yes. Payatambonzi. 1260. It is now being described as a time. And times. And times. And half a time. And half a time. <laughs> a time and times and half a time. It's nourished again. Yes. <laughs> Fed. Yes. 1260. Now yes. nourished for a time. Yes. And times. And half a time, and half a time mm -hmm. you see. So this is the time which this woman <laughs> is going to be there <laughs> in this wilderness. Yes. So those who calculate, those who have done mathematics, yeah, those who have done, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, the, the mathematics, the mathematicians and the gurus, mm -hmm. if you may calculate to me what amount of time is a time and time what 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 are you going to calculate <laughs> that 
and half a time, <laughs> a time and times and half, half a time. time. How many years <laughs> is that? Don't say 1,260 <laughs> is the time. I want you to give me the calculation. So this is the language that is there in the scriptures. Yeah. And what happened when this um, dragon uh, saw that uh, this woman was now given two wings of a great eagle and uh, that she might fly? Yes. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood yes. after the woman. Yes. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. You see now. Mm -hmm. So this serpent, this this dragon. Yes. Uh, the dragon has got a flood of water. Yes. Waters, like a flood, yes. which comes out of the mouth mm -hmm. of the dragon. Mm -hmm. So we now see why God prepared that place in the wilderness. For such a time. Yes. It means outside that place which was prepared for this woman, there is a serpent, there is a dragon. Yes. This serpent uh, has got waters which comes out of the mouth. Yes. Those waters they are very uh, much yes. it's like as a flood, which means if this woman is not going to stay put yeah. to stay disciplined. Mm. In this place which was prepared for her. Yes. Outside that place, there are there's a flood. There's a flood. And she's going to be carried away yes. by that flood. Yes. So God was wise. And if you want to find the wisdom of God, you are going to discover because there are some people who want to be wiser mm -hmm. than themselves. They may ask themselves questions to say, So who created the devil? <laughs> if the devil is very destructive like that. Instead of preparing a place in the wilderness, why just uh, God? Why 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 can't he just kill the devil, <laughs> and then he doesn't go he have expenses uh, or uh, the need to prepare another place? Mm. This serpent is God's project. Yes, it's God's project, mm -hmm. and God knew very well mm -hmm. that if this woman was going to be at a place, she was going to be carried. Yes. She was going to be carried by the flood. Yes. And um, remember, uh, Brother Nelson, the last time we did the sanctuary series, mm -hmm. and we were yes. we were reading from yes. the book yes. of Exodus. Oh, yes. Exodus chapter number 12, mm -hmm. uh, where we we saw it's, 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 it's where we saw that um, uh, the Lord was actually going to address uh, the people of Israel, and if you read verse 1 and 2, we are going to see that their journey, which they were going to take to come out of Egypt into the promised land, yes, it actually marked um, a, a certain a season, yes, it was actually marking a season, yes, uh, we, at the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, remember when I was referring to the to the a greater light and the lesser light mm -hmm. when those lights were given yes. in Genesis chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Maybe Mufangeri, you can read that scripture so that Kapari, that single Rengima scriptures, <laughs> uh, people will say uh, maybe they are just saying something from their minds. Verse number 14 of uh, uh, Genesis chapter 1. And God said, Yes. Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. Yes. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. You see now, so when these lights were made, mm -hmm. they were made for for a uh, for season. Yes. For you to know that this is this particular season, mm -hmm. this is by this particular time. Yes. God created the 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 greater light yes. and the lesser light, mm -hmm. and He put them on the firmament mm -hmm. to determine the seasons. Yes. And on Exodus chapter chapter twelve, mm -hmm. verse one and two, and He was now talking about the the beginning of a certain season. Yes. Yes. And the Lord spake unto Moses yes. and Aaron 
in the, in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. You see now? Yes. So it is the first month of the year, yes. not to everyone. Yes. Which means we now see Israel having its own way of uh, uh, counting times or yes. interpreting times and seasons. Yes. Which means even in the in in in, in this present world, brother, and also yes. you hear them talking about the the Jewish calendar yes. uh, versus the the Gregorian yes. calendar, yes. where it's still preaching up to now mm -hmm. that. Uh, even we know that this Israel <laughs> that is there yes. is not the true Israel. Yes. Because we are, the New Testament church is the true Israel. Mm -hmm. But that fact that the, Israel, the, the Israel have got its own calendar. Yes. And the other nations, they've got their <laughs> own calendar. It's, it's, it's a message yes. on its own. Mm -hmm. But of course, not addressing the physical nation of Israel, yes. but the spiritual nation of Israel. Yes. So it was very clear on verse number two. Mm -hmm. yeah, don't make a mistake. This is not a season to everyone else. Yes. Uh, this is not the first month to, to those in Babylon. <laughs> this is not the first month to those in Egypt. Yes. You see, mm -hmm. this is the, the beginning of months. Yes. It shall be the first month of the year mm -hmm. to you. Yes. I like so. that. Mm -hmm. Not to everyone else. Mm -hmm. To you. Yes. And it's very important. And it's very, very I, 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 ironic that... In Revelation chapter 12, we have these two lights being uh, used <laughs> to preach this mystery. Yes. The, the sun being put on by this woman and the moon. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we see these lights, mm -hmm. we know that they were given by God, the greater light and the, less, and the lesser light, yes. for seasons. Yes. And we know God is introducing a new dispensation yes. altogether. Yes. When you see those lights, know for certain that God is introducing a new dispensation. Yes. But is he introducing a new dispensation to everyone else? No. It is to you, yes. to the Israel of God. Mm -hmm. This season does not apply to everyone else. That's yes. why the 1,260 years, or 60 days that were calculated there, they were not calculated in relation to anyone. Mm -hmm. They were calculated in relation to the time that has been prepared for this woman to be at a place where she was going to hide. Yes. Kowamwe. Odin. Kowamwe. It seems God does not care how the, uh, the pagans yes. are going to number their days yes. or are, are going to calculate their months. It seems God is not even concerned. He is concerned with his nation. Yes. He is concerned with his people. It seems God is not even concerned. He is concerned with his nation. He is concerned with his people. Yes. So, God had to prepare a place. Yes. That's where we want to go. Mm -hmm. But let's go to, uh, I want Brother Nelson to open uh, Psalm chapter 32, uh, verse number 6 to 8. I want Evangelist Mafolo to open um, um, Psalm chapter 31. Maybe start to read from verse number 18. But Brother yes. Nelson, first read Psalm chapter 32, verse 6. Uh, to eight. Yes. For this shall everyone, for this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. You see now. Yes. So if you look at that with the connection to what we are reading in in in, in Revelation chapter twelve. Yes. You are going to see that uh, uh, was very soon we are going to see the introduction of the hiding yes. place. So, before he introduced the hiding place, he was talking about a, a, pray, a, a prayer. Mm -hmm. Those who are godly, yes. how are they going to pray? Yes. For this shall everyone that is godly pray unto yes. thee yes. in a time when they mayest, mayest be found. When thou mayest be found. Yes. You see? Mm -hmm. Which means it's, the issue of time is coming again. Yes. There is a time when people are going to pray, yes. but he was not going to be found at that particular yes. time. Yes. <laughs> then there is a time in which there are people who are going to be godly, mm -hmm. who are going to pray, but at that particular time, 
he was going to be found. Yes. Which means God is not just uh, going to be found anyhow. There is a specific time yes. in which God is found. Pane nguwa mwaridza hizo wanikwa. Kana mchizo wanikwa. Awa wani umari. Vacha nyengetila kwa muri. Mazuwa kana watunguwa hizo za mningi mchizo wanikwa. Yeah. And those who are familiar with him, uh, Psalm chapter 32, how it was introduced from verse number one. This mm. is when uh, he was now addressing the, 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 the most important aspect which brought us into this New Testament, which is also going to be part of the teaching that we are going to be receiving yes. today. Mm -hmm. It is on account. The reason why he started by uh, pronouncing a blessing yes. to those whose transgression is forgiven, to those whose sin is covered, before introducing uh, our Lord as the hiding place, he yes. started to pronounce a blessing yes. to those who are going to receive forgiveness of sins. Yes. To those whom God is not going to impute sin, mm -hmm. but is going to impute righteousness. Yes. Blessed, so, yes. yes. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. Whose, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Yes. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity. Yes. And in whose spirit there is no guile. You see now. Yes. So verse 1 and 2, uh, this is what Apostle was now explaining in, in the book of Romans chapter 4. He was talking about this blessing yes. for us to understand that the blessing that we received in the New Testament as believers is that we received forgiveness of sin. Yes. So the way they prophesied these uh, prophets, the Old Testament prophets, yes. they were not prophesying in order. Mm -hmm. of the uh, way in which these events were going to happen. So, in, in on verse number 1 of Psalm 32, yes. he was not telling us how this forgiveness of sins was going to be achieved. Yes. He just said, if you are going to find yourself having received forgiveness of sins, yes. you, are, you are blessed. Yes. If God is not going to impute sin to you, uh, if he's going to impute righteousness to yes. you, you are blessed. How was it going to happen now? How was it going to happen? <laughs> so he was now on verse number verse number six. Yes. He was now addressing the time. Yes. There is a time when this is going to happen. Remember, he was talking about prayer. Yes. And we know that a, a man who is who is a sinner, he cannot pray yes. to God. Yes. Mm -hmm. So on verse number six, it appears it's not connected to from verse number one. But it's connected because those who are godly, yes. we, we, you're not going to find a person who is godly mm -hmm. whose sins are not yet forgiven. Yes. You're not going to find a godly person whose iniquities yes. are not yet forgiven. There's yes. no such a godly person like that. Yes. The only time you're going to find godly person or godly people, it is after they've received forgiveness of sins. Yes. You now belong to God. The word godly it just means you belong to God. Yes. <laughs> you are of God. <laughs> you are of God. Yes. You see? Mm -hmm. And you can now pray. Yes. That is, if your sins are forgiven, you can pray. Yes. So there is a time in which those people are godly. They are going to find you. Yes. Then he said, Surely in the floods of a great waters, mm -hmm. they shall not come nigh unto him. Yes. Which means there is a flood which mm -hmm. is there. Yes. Which is also a hindrance for people to approach to where God is. Yes. There's a flood. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> on account of this flood, mm -hmm. that flood which we have seen in Revelation chapter 12, yes. God knew that there's a serpent, serpent, yes. a dragon which he has created, and this serpent is the waters which comes out from the mouth. And these waters are as a flood. And for this woman to survive, she needs a place. And you are going to see, Brother Nelson and yes. Vangeli, that the waters that are coming from this uh, uh, dragon, they have no capacity to reach to this place which this woman was, yes. was, was actually destined to, to stay. Yes. And it, it points us of another aspect which we are going to see of altitude. That's why Brother Nelson was talking about the heights. Yes. 
Yes. The altitude also, mm -hmm. which we are now souring. We, there are places where other birds cannot fly yes. above that altitude. Yes. So you are going to see that this place was supposed to be on a higher altitude yes. so that the waters will not reach yes. um, from this drug. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back to Psalm 32. And yes. I want you to go to verse number 7. Thou art my hiding place. So soon after telling us about... Uh, um, the waters, yes. forgiveness of sins, godly people to pray. Mm -hmm. He now introduced God as a, a hiding place. Yes. Thou art my hiding place. Why? Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Yes. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. You see now, yes. you are going also to realize that for deliverance to be real, uh, that's why we will always quote uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Because you cannot say to have been delivered if you are not put on another place. Uh, you, must, you must be delivered by being placed into a place or into a kingdom. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> into a kingdom. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you cannot say, ah, no, I, I was delivered. From where to where? <laughs> we have to see the the... The, the change of yes. location. Yes. We have to see the change of location if we are going to receive a proper deliverance. Yes. So in Colossians 1 verse 13, it says, Christ has delivered us. God has delivered us mm -hmm. from the power of darkness. Yes. You see? Mm -hmm. And he has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Yes. So you cannot say you are delivered if you do not tell us where you are now. Because where you are now, it is a confirmation whether you have received the true deliverance. That's why in the book of Psalm, he says, I am going to be having, uh, to be combusted mm -hmm. by songs of deliverance. Yes. Uh, songs of deliverance. Yes. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> songs of deliverance. Yes. Why? Because uh, you are my hiding place. Yes. You are my hiding place. So we know very well that the book of Psalm, uh, David was prophesying yes. about, about Christ. He yes. was prophesying about Christ. And you are going to be shocked because in the book of Psalm, you hear in some scriptures, uh, uh, David was addressing like yes. as a sinner. He was addressing certain uh, Psalms, putting himself to be a sinner who needed help from God when a deliverance from God. But we know very well mm -hmm. that David was a prophet yes. and he was prophesying concerning Christ. Yes. So we also understand that in the book of Psalm chapter 32, when, when, when we talk about our, our, our deliverance, yes. when we talk about our salvation, mm -hmm. when we talk about uh, the righteousness that we now have, yes. we, we, we know very well, that's why even on on Psalm 32, verse 1, when he's talking about the blessedness of the one whose sins are forgiven, yes. he was talking about the blessedness which we're going to receive ourselves as believers. Mm -hmm. But in what way then was David prophesying about Christ? Because we are not going to receive forgiveness of sins yes. outside Christ. Mm -hmm. And I want Mvangeli to open 1 Corinthians chapter 1 um, and read, from, read verse number 30. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse number 30. I want to show you that you cannot talk about, um, about forgiveness of sins, mm -hmm. which is actually righteousness. Because righteousness is the forgiveness of sins. Yes. So it's, it's as good as if we talk about righteousness, it's like we are talking about Christ. Yes. Even if it's righteousness that is coming from us yes. or coming to us, First uh, Corinthians chapter one verse number thirty. That according as but it is. First Corinthians chapter one verse thirty. But of him, yes, are you in Christ Jesus? Of him, are ye in Christ Jesus? Mm. Who of God is made unto us wisdom? Yes. And righteousness. Yes. And sanctification. Yes. And redemption. Yes. That according as it is written. Yes. He that glorieth. 
Yes. Let him glory in the Lord. You see now. Mm -hmm. So Christ is our righteousness. Yes. Christ is our sanctification. Christ is our our redemption. Christ is our wisdom. Yes. But he was made unto us. Mm -hmm. He was made by God unto us. Yes. To be the wisdom, to be righteousness, to be sanctification, yes. to be redemption. Yes. You see now. Yes. So when you go to the, let's go back to Psalm 32, mm -hmm. and I want you to read verse number eight, brother Nelson. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. You see now. Yes. So the reason I, why I went to uh, Psalm 32, mm -hmm. that is when David, as a prophet, yes. he introduced the hiding place. Yes. And um, there in, 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 in Psalm 32, we see God uh, being our our hiding place. God is our hiding place. Yes. And why are we hiding? Why do we need a hiding place, <laughs> Brother Nelson? It means outside. Yes. It's not safe. It's not it's dangerous. Outside is dangerous. Yes. And what makes outside dangerous? It is the presence <laughs> of, of the, the dragon. dragon. Yes. There's a dragon outside. Mm -hmm. And the dragon is waters. Yes. The dragon is water. The flood. The flood. Mm -hmm. So let's read uh, Psalm 31 from verse number 18. Let the lying lips put, uh, be put to silence. Yes. Which speaketh grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. You see, mm -hmm. the lying lips must be put to silence. Yes. You are going to see that um, uh, part of the floods that uh, uh, Revelation was talking about, that flood, that flood, that, 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 those waters, you can actually summarize them or, to, or categorize them as lies. In a ma. Yes. Ma, 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 ma. me dragon. In a it is a lie. Yes. So in the book of Psalm 31, he was saying, mm -hmm. let the lying lips be put to silence. Yes. Which speak grievous things mm -hmm. proudly yes. and contemptuously against the righteous. Yes. And if you go to Revelation chapter 13, Mkoman also. Yes, yes. If you remember mm -hmm. the, the, the description of this serpent. Yes. Um, was you know, Yakumuromo, Yacho. Yes, yes. Now that you know the Kakumurom. Yes. Kumurom and Dokun, because Dukun. you are going to see it's a matter of mm -hmm. the message yes. that is being received. Mm -hmm. So when he was introducing the dragon mm -hmm. further yes, uh, yes. In, 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 in Revelation 13, yes. I want you to read um, verse number um, verse number two. Maybe you may start reading from verse number one. But I want to put particular emphasis on verse number two. Yes. And, and I stood upon the sand of the sea. Yes. And saw a beast rise up out of the sea, yes. having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Yes. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Yes. And his feet were as the feet of a bear. Yes. And his mouth as the mouth of a lion. Yes. And the dragon gave him his power. Yes. And his seat and great authority. So you see now. Yes. So uh, verse number five. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things. Yes. And blasphemies. Yes. And power was given unto him to yes. continue forty and two months. You see. Yes. There's also. A time frame. Yes. <laughs> There's also a time frame. Yes. Which was given to the dragon to continue yes. doing all these things. It's actually 40, 42, 42 months. Yes. So the flood now. Yes. Is now being complemented by great and great things and blasphemies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great swelling words. Yes. Of vanity. Of vanity. Blasphemies. Yes. Which this. Uh, dragon was given, it was given a mouth. <laughs> so for you to tell that this is a flood yes. uh, from from the dragon, you have to listen to the message. Yes. 
it is going to come in the form of a message. Yes. And uh, this is one of the greatest uh, deception which the devil has managed to uh, perpetrate in people's lives. Yes. Uh, for people to believe that um, uh, when the devil, when you want to see if a place is, um, uh, is haunted by the devil, yes. there are certain things that we grew up being told you see, there were certain houses in our rural areas which we were told there are, there are noises mm -hmm. and sounds which happens at night in this particular house. This house is haunted by the devil. Probably uh, the man yes. was the man, the owner of the house. He was a rich man. He could have killed someone. <laughs> he may be in, 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 on his um, mm -hmm. way yes. to acquire the riches that he now he, he obtained. So now he's no longer sleeping in the house. And we used to say, hey, the devil. This is the work <laughs> of the devil. So if you ask people, what was the message that the sounds were saying? Yes. They will be saying, and they are, they are not words they say. <laughs> it's just a noise. And it's mm. like in uh, pots and uh, other utensils which are being smashed on the floor. It's a, it's a great noise. Yes. And when people hear those sounds, mm -hmm. They say, ah, Simba, Satan, <laughs> the devil is at work. And maybe if people see sicknesses, certain sicknesses and diseases, which they cannot describe, say, the mm. devil is at work. Yes. That's why T.P. Joshua used to say, the, the Lord sent me to say, go and heal those mm. who are sick. <laughs> and they will bring those people with wounds, mm. uh, which are not healing and so forth. But the devil... He was not given all those things. Yes. He was given a mouth. And mm. this mouth he was given to say blasphemies. Yes. And great things. Mm -hmm. Mm. He speaks great things. <laughs> those who want to hear great things, the, the, the dragon was given such a... Yes. To speak great things. And he was given to continue for 42 months. Yes. So... Those who want to do mathematics, I want you to do mathematics and multiply 42, convert 42 months to days. <laughs> uh, make your calculations and convert 42 months to, to, to days mm -hmm. and then uh, match this Revelation chapter 13 verse 5 and uh, Revelation chapter 12. What scripture was it? We yes. just talking about half a time, uh, time uh, and half a time. So it's it's verse number um, verse 14 it's verse 14 yes, yes. yeah it's verse 14 mm -hmm. verse 14 and verse 6 yes verse, verse 14 uh, Revelation chapter 12 verse 6 Revelation chapter 12 verse 14 yes and Revelation chapter 13 verse number um, uh, verse number 5 yes yes so the 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 the, the, the dragon also he was given a time frame yes. to operate. He he's, he's not going to exceed forty two <laughs> months. He's, he's going to operate time for, bound. for he's also time bound. Yes. Yes. He's also time bound. If you multiply, so, yeah. If you make the months uh, forty two months multiply by a thirteen day month, it will be one thousand two hundred sixty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Let's leave that one. So the, 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 the dragon was given, it was given a mouth to speak blasphemies. Yes. So let's go back in Vangeli to Psalm 31. Psalm 31 verse 18. Let's read Proverbs verse 20. Or 24. Yeah. Let the lying lips be put to silence. Yes. Which speak grievous things proud Proudly and yes. contemptuously against the righteous. Against the righteous, yes. Oh, how great is the is thy goodness, yes, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee. Yes. Which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. You see, so how great is thy goodness? Mm -hmm. This goodness you have actually laid up for them yes. that fear thee. Mm -hmm. So those which fear God. They have nothing that they have done. Mm -hmm. God has actually laid up 
everything which is needed for them. Yes. He has actually wrought for them that trust in, in, in God. Yes. Before the sons of men. Yes. yes. Verse 20. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence yes. from the pride of men. Yes. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife <laughs> of tongues. <laughs> you mm. see now. Mm. So, who is going to hide them? God is going to hide them. Yes. God has got a mission. God has got a plan. God wants to protect those that are his. Mm -hmm. Those that fear him. Yes. He wants to protect them. Mm -hmm. He wants to protect them from the lying, from the lies. Mm -hmm. He wants to protect them from the strife of tongues. Yes. Kune mashoku akawanda, ndosika patanga pachinzi, miromo yese, inota orani, mangai nyarani. Yes. Njitika. Yes. Let all the lying lips be put to silence. Yes. Nema zese gazi vahu. You see? Yes. Nema zese gazi vahu. Yes. So, we did not finish that scripture in Revelation chapter 12. The other thing which helped which helped this woman to survive the floods from this dragon. Yeah. It was the earth which opened its mouth. Yes. And yes. when the earth opened its mouth, mm -hmm. it actually swallowed the, all the waters that the dragon had actually yes. uh, vomited. Yes. And in our previous teachings, we learned that the earth, which is part of the dry ground, which was created in, <laughs> in the book of Genesis, yes. when the dry ground was made to appear, mm -hmm where herbs and vegetation was going to grow, mm. that dry ground, it represented the believers, yes. but it also represented the ministers of the gospel. Yes. Because the ministers of the gospel, they are the earth in Revelation chapter 12, yes. which were going to open their mouth mm -hmm. and swallow. Yes. But by swallowing the mouth from the dragon, it is not um, a sign of maybe uh, believing the heresy mm -hmm. or taking the lies. No. Yes. It is, this, it is the sign of actually stopping the mouth of the lying lips yes. and actually preventing heresy to, to continue. Because it is the heresy, it is the lies, it is the false gospel, it is a false message that is actually going to destroy mm -hmm. those who are going to be outside this place which was created by God yes. for the benefit or for the safety of his own church. Sakamarani wa nuaki. So I do zio kuti kutura rame andi tika. Unda kuto gaziri wenzimbo. Saka tevita kazoona achi porofita kunama pisare matetu an. Aka tu kuna kasi koko huna yuko kuna kaka mwan. Aka shami sika na kwe David. Aka tu all the goodness of 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 God. Kuna kaka mwan. Diko kuto mwan. Ane nzimbo ya aka gaziri wa nuaki. Yes. So when you have prepared a place for these uh, people whom you have loved, you are going to hide them yes. in the secret of thy presence. Yes. <laughs> so this place <laughs> it is the, it is also described as the secret of God's presence. <laughs> huh? What place is that, brother? <laughs> which is called the secret of God's presence. <laughs> which means this from this place yes. we have God's presence. Yes. But it's a secret place. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. It is a secret place, yes. but it is God's presence. Yes. But you have to enter. Mm -hmm. That's why we have the inn there. Yes. Thou shalt hide them mm -hmm. in the secret place. Yes. Of thy presence. Yes. Which means you have to enter. Yes. It's a place <laughs> which you must enter. Yes. Into. If you are not going to be hid from that from that in, in into that secret place mm -hmm. of God's presence. Yes. You are going to be destroyed from the pride yes. of men. Of men, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look at uh, first John chapter chapter two. Mm -hmm. Verse 15 and 16. Mm -hmm. It addresses um, the manifestation of the kingdom of darkness yes. or the manifestation of the world. Yes. It is also described as the world. Yes. 
Yeah. Love not the world. You must not love the world. Neither the things that are in the world. You must not love the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, yes. the love of the Father is not in him. So let's see, what is this world that you are talking about? For all that is in the world. This is what is in the world. The last of the flesh. The last of the flesh. And the last of the eyes. The last of the eyes. And the pride of life. And the pride of life. Is not of the Father. Is not of the Father. But is of the world. It is of the world. You see? Yes. So, the floods or the flood that is going to come out of the mouth of the dragon, it is going to destroy this woman. Yes. If this woman, number one, is not going to flee mm -hmm. to that place which God has prepared for her. Yes. And even if the woman was going to flee to that place, mm -hmm. if we did not have the earth yes. that was going to open the mouth to swallow, <laughs> The floods that were coming from the mouth of the dragon. Yes. The woman was going to be destroyed. Yes. So the fact that God have created a place for you mm -hmm. and you have you have you have, you have found refuge in that yes. place. Yes. Your safety in that place mm -hmm. is not just for you to be there and say, I'm now safe. Yes. You need the earth mm -hmm. that is going to open the mouth. Yes. So our survival in this place where we're going to be. Yes is going to be determined by the availability of the earth yes. that is going to open its mouth mm -hmm. to swallow yes. the, the, the waters from the dragon. Yes. So if, if this water is going to flow to a swampy area, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the water is not going to be swallowed. <laughs> you see? So this is the state. God is going to hide his people in the secret place of his presence. Yes. But if, before we continue in Bangeri to verse number 24, I want Brother Nelson to go to Hebrews chapter 1. Uh, Hebrews chapter 1. Yes. And let's see if it is verse 3. Yes. Yes. Who being the brightness of no, his... Maybe if we, for us to find the context. Yes. Read from verse number 1. Verse number 3. God, who at sundry times and yes. in diverse manners Speak in times in time past unto the fathers yes. by the prophets. Yes. Yet in these last days spoken unto us by his son, yes. whom he hath appointed heir of all things. Yes. By whom also he made the worlds. So it's very clear yes. that he was talking about Christ. Yes. Our Lord. Yes. Verse number three. Who being the brightness of his glory. Christ is the brightness of his glory. And the express image of his person. He is the express image of his person. Yes. And upholding all things by the word of his power. He upholds all things by the word of his power. When he had by himself paid yes. our sins. Yes. Set down on the right hand of the majesty on high. You see now. Yes. So he, he, if you want to to be um, to, 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 to see the brightness of, of God. Yes. The brightness of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Christ is the brightness of, of, of God. Of oh, God, yes. You see? Mm -hmm. Christ is the, is, is the <laughs> express image yes. of his person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which means if you see Christ, yes. you are actually in his presence. Yes. You are actually in his presence. Yes. That's why I wanted us to read Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. Mm -hmm. You cannot say, I have seen Christ, yes. and then I want to see uh, God. Mm -hmm. Because when you see Christ, he is the express image of his person. Yes. That's why he was correcting his disciples in, in John chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Remember in verse 8 and 9, yes, he was yes. now addressing you. You cannot say, show us the Father. Yes. Because if you see me, you've you seen, seen the, the Father. Father. Yes. Because I am in the Father, mm -hmm. and the Father is in me. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Christ is the, is, the, is, the, is the express image of God. Yes. He is the brightness of his glory. Yes. So if you go back to Psalm chapter 31, verse number 20. Yes, that secret place. Right? Yes, God has got a secret place. Yes. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence yes. from the pride of men. Yes. Thou shalt keep them secretly yes. in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. So it's not only the, the place which is secret, mm -hmm. also the survival, the safety, the upkeep mm -hmm. 
Yes. Of 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 God's people. Yes. It's also secret. Yes. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> God did not divulge how he was going to keep yes. his people. It's a yes. secret yes. Uh, um, affair. <laughs> Even the keeping of, the, of no. these people is secret. It's secret. Secretly. Yes. He is secret. going to keep them secretly. Yes. In the in a pavilion. Mm -hmm. From the strife of tongues. Yes. But where is he going to keep them secretly? Mm -hmm. So God is keeping secretly mm -hmm. his people mm -hmm. in the secret, in uh, the secret place of, of his, his presence. presence. <laughs> 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 secretly keeping... Yeah. His people in a, in the secret place of his presence. Yes. Where are these people? Where are they exactly? Verse yes. twenty one. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath shown me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. So you see now. <laughs> yes. In a strong city, that's where you're going to see the marvelous kindness of the Lord. Yes. He is going to show you. So if you are blessed. If you are going to see these things. Yes. yes. For I said in my haste. Yes. I am cut off from before thine eyes. Yes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications uh, when I cried unto thee. Yes. Oh, love the Lord, O ye his saints. For the Lord preserveth the faithful and plentiful rewardeth uh, the proud doer. You see now. Mm -hmm. Love the Lord, all his saints. Yes. For the Lord preserveth the faithful. Yes. And plentifully rewarded <laughs> the proud doer. Yes. yes. You see. Yes. So, Mariane, me, 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 to Yakasi Anasiana, Yacha Pambay, Kunawa knows you could that. As Mari Arkuchengate, yes. Wakatendeka. The Lord preserves the faithful. Verse 24. Be of good courage. Yes. And he shall strengthen your heart. Yes. All ye that hope in the Lord. Be mm -hmm. of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. Yes. All ye that hope in the Lord. Yes. So let's let's end there for now. We see. Mm -hmm. So why are we in the book of Psalm? We wanted to see how David prophesied about God being the hiding place. And what is it that was surrounding um, uh, the, hiding, the hiding place. Yes. The outside environment matters. Mm -hmm. For you to understand how important is the hiding place, you have to know how the outward environment, the outside environment, how fierce it is, how dangerous it is, how life-threatening it is to stay outside the pavilion of God. God has got a pavilion. Yes. In other words, <laughs> in, 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 in the same scripture, he described this place as a pavilion. Yes. In another scripture, he says, no, it's actually the, the, the secret place of his, of his presence. Of his presence. Mm -hmm. Then it's a strong city. A then strong it's a strong city again. Mm -hmm. Then it's a hiding place. Yes. So David understood and remembering uh, very well the um, uh, King David as a king, the things that he went through. Yes. That's why sometimes if you read the book of Psalm, in most cases you are tempted to say David was talking about himself. Yes. Because he himself, apart from prophesying with the words that we read now in the book of Psalm mm -hmm. and even his life in the book of uh, First Samuel and, and even in the book of First Kings, mm -hmm. we, 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 we learn about how David prophesied also with things that happened in his life. David is a man who was surrounded with enemies. He saw, sought his life. At some point, he was hiding in Adulam from the presence of Saul. And even his sons, his own sons, mm -hmm. they also rose against him and fought with him. Yes. And he fought with the Philistines. He fought with other kings. He, understand, he understood very well the protection that he received from God throughout all these adventures, all these victories yes. that were in David's life. Yes. But that being the case, he was portraying 
or representing mm -hmm. the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because you are going to see very soon that this hiding place which we take comfort in, which we enjoy ourselves, is something that was prepared yes. by God. Mm -hmm. It's something that was prepared by God. And the preparation aspect of it, you are going to see the, the emotions, which you also see even the tone that David wrote in the book of Psalm. He was like someone who was rejoicing God, but at, at some point he is crying mm -hmm. because of the pain. He's also crying about how people are treating him and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. But at another point, he is praising God for the victory that God has given to him. Mm -hmm. So all those variations, they are very important. They help us to understand this pavilion, this secret place in the presence of God, which God has actually created yes. for the safety of his people, mm -hmm. so that people are protected from the lying mm -hmm. tongue, people are, are, are protected from the proud yes. of men, yes. from the pride of men. Mm -hmm. People are protected, these people are protected from um, uh, the flood. The, the, the flood. Yes. You see. Mm -hmm. So, I want Brother Nusun to open Psalm 119. Uh, verse 114. Let's read verse 114 yes. and see where we can see, where we can reach. Psalm yes. 119, verse 114. Yes. 119, 114. Thou art, yes. thou art my hiding place yes. and my shield. Yes. I hope in thy word. So, if you look at that scripture, mm -hmm. even after the, the colon there, yes. <laughs> they seem to be not connected. Yes. Thou art my hiding place and mm -hmm. my shield. Yes. I hope in thy word. <laughs> so if you look at the way that David prophesied there, there is a connection. This yes. hiding place which we are talking about, the, 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 the safe place to be, ever to be, it is also going to be fully understood yes. when we know that it's not divorced from the word. Yes. It's actually the word. <laughs> this hiding place we are talking about is the word. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the hiding place is the word. Yes. But there is something that God did to the word which created the place. Yes. There is something which God did to the word mm -hmm. which created the place. Yes. So... Thou art my hiding place and my shield, mm -hmm. I hope in thy word. Yes. Which means God's word, that's the hiding place. Yes. <laughs> God's word mm -hmm. is the shield. And if you remember very well, Brother Nelson, in, in, in the book of John, yes. John chapter 1, verse number 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and yes. the word was God. Yes. But at this particular time on verse number 2, mm -hmm. There is no hiding place yet created yes. for anyone to hide. Yes. That's why I said this hiding place is something that was supposed to be prepared. Yes. But on verse number one, John chapter one, verse number one, mm -hmm. there is no hiding place yes. that is there yet created for anyone. Mm -hmm. The word was with God and the word was God. Yes. But when we go now to verse number 14, mm -hmm. That's when we see, that's why I said, Christ is our hiding place. We hide in Christ. Yes. We, we are safe in Christ. Yes. And the word was made flesh. The word now was made flesh. And that's the yes. process now which God now made. He is doing the preparation yes. of that place. Yes. So the, the word was made flesh. Yes. No. Yes. Saka connection revelation twelve, revelation thirteen, Yes. the dragon. Yaka poor forty two months. You could Yes. one thousand two hundred and sixty days. And it is a good guy, Coco. Tikaona Gucci, Zuganza, no, it's actually half, it's actually a time 
and the time and half a time yes okay 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 ngati sane nazo but yatiri kuona ndiche kuti eh zvino zviri kufambidzana ne time anditika and just doing a rough calculation which is not accurate because these figures they are a more a representative they represent a season more than a, we may use this the, the days that we calculate yes, yes we saw that the 42 months if we convert those 42 months to days yes. using an average of 30 30 days per month yes we we'll get, we'll get almost the same the it's same time the same, yes. which means the time that the dragon was rising which when john saw the the dragon rising from the from the sea mm-hmm. that time and the time where the woman was actually uh, the main child was taken up uh, into into glory mm-hmm. to the throne of god yes. and to god mm-hmm. it 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 shows that it is the same time yes. it is showing the introduction of the new testament mm-hmm. but when the intro, when the new testament is introduced it was on chapter 12 mm-hmm. that's when we see the introduction of the new testament yes. on chapter 13 we see the the, the the coming up of the dragon yes. from the sea mm-hmm. and this dragon was going to chase after to fight yes. uh, the, the the church mm-hmm. you see yes so If we look at that time kuti time is zvakafanana mhm anditika mhm tinenge tichitoona ipapo kuti all right saka chirikuitika ndeche kuti eh pari kukudzwa Kristo yes ndipo patiri kuonawo mvura dzichisumuka yes dzichikare anditika yes zvinoratidza kuna revelation chapter 13 kuti chikare chimvura chachigara chinadzo yes asi panga pasina kumbowani kwa pachikabudisa mvura dzakawanda zvakadai mhm kunze kwe pachaka zvonge cha kuona mukadzwi wacha cha kudzingirira yes. angabereka mwana mukomano yes anditika yes and uh, we have learned in the other uh, sermons where we 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 learn about the 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 the, the, the seven heads and the and the ten horns yes. which were symbolizing the strategies that the devil was going to use yes. uh, fighting the church and we see that when the new testament was launched even when we know that the dragon was created with these waters mm-hmm. but even when he deceived when the serpent deceived eve we did not know that the serpent had that ability to actually um spew such uh, waters yes. from his mouth mm-hmm. from his mouth takazozviona kuti chine mvura dzakawanda kudai nyoka ine mvura dzakawanda kudai payakanga yakudzingirana Yes. Ni mukadzi uyo akanga bereka mwana mukoma. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which marks now we see in the New Testament the revelation of Christ is coming. Mm-hmm. But at the same time we also see the strategies, the blasphemy, mm-hmm. the great words, mm-hmm. the great tactics and strategies which the devil is using yes. to deceive mm-hmm. the church. Yes. Mm-hmm. But remember in Revelation chapter 13 it is not possible Yes. for the serpent to actually overcome yes, yes. the the, the elect mm-hmm. is not possible yes. mm-hmm. but the strength and the amount of water that comes from the serpent it is so much that even the elect if we, if 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 god did not <laughs> sealed them to yes. everlasting life yes <clears throat> they also going to be carried away yes. with this uh, this water from the serpent mm-hmm. But why am I saying all this? I want you to see that the time that we are witnessing mm-hmm. the manifestation of the dragon is the same time that we are witnessing also uh, the, mm-hmm. the 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 glory yes. that the the child was going to be taken up and then we see the persecution happening to the church. Yes. So it seems brother no son it seems uh, the 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 um, the glory of Christ mm-hmm. when Christ was glorified because we are on on John chapter 1 verse 14 yes where the word that word now yes that word was made flesh yes you see mm-hmm. the word was made flesh mm-hmm. and it dwelt among us and dwelt among and when John was describing he says and we beheld his glory mm-hmm. the glory is of, of the, the only 
begotten <laughs> of the Father. Yes. Full of grace and truth. Yes. You see. Mm-hmm. So the word was made flesh. Yes. But why was the word made flesh? It is so that if the word was not going to be made flesh, mm-hmm. we're not going to have the Christ. Yes. We're not going to have the Christ. Mm-hmm. Because the Christ is the begotten mm-hmm. of the Father. Yes. When was he going to be begotten? He was going to be begotten after rising from the dead. Yes. I found out Tanga Mukakwa Kafa and Titika. Yes. Kanamka Vakwa Kafa. Or to begotten mm-hmm. by the Father. Mm-hmm. Can I to be begotten of the Father? But time he oyo, he repeat quite yes. When God was actually, when God made the word to become flesh, mm-hmm. the word was made. Yes. Not the word made itself. The word was made flesh, yes. which means there's another authority mm-hmm. which was introduced there. Yes. We see Christ as the word. Yes. We see Christ in the flesh. But why was he coming in the flesh? We spoke about it mm-hmm. in our earlier teaching. He was coming in the flesh because he was going to be, he was sent by the Father. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it can be in Hebrews chapter 10. From verse 5 to 7, yes. we see a body being prepared for him. Yes. He also needed a body mm-hmm. which was prepared for him. So the word was made flesh, which is now talking about the preparation. Yes. For us to find a place to enter. Yes. There was going to be a place which was supposed to be prepared. Yes. So the preparation of the place, brethren, the preparation of the place is actually representing the the, 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 the suffering that Christ went through. The suffering that Christ went through. And um, um, it reminds me of uh, it reminds me of uh, Exodus chapter 33. Mm-hmm. Exodus chapter 33. Let's go there and see what happened yes. when, when, when Moses requested to see <laughs> uh, the presence, the glory. To see of the his Lord. glory. Yes. He wanted to see the glory of God. Yes. That's why on, on 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 John chapter one verse fourteen, whenever we are going to see his glory, mm-hmm. it is the glory as of the begotten oh, yes. of the it Father. Was, it was not yet seen. <laughs> yes. It was not yet seen. <laughs> yes. But we know that in the book of Exodus, mm-hmm. those were shadows. Yes. He wanted to bring in a shadow yes. of the good things that were to come. Mm-hmm. According to Hebrews chapter 10, yes. verse number one. But let us read um, in verse, verse number uh, from verse number one and two. We yes. see there uh, the Lord actually showing people yes. uh, things that I learned <laughs> for the first time. Kumanos in JRM. Not because I didn't see these scriptures. Uh-huh. When Apostle said it was not God who went with him. The children of Israel from <laughs> Egypt to Canaan yes. said, "What? <laughs> huh? So is it the devil? Because every time if you say it's not God, people will say if it's not God, then you are saying it was the devil who was leading them. And when the scriptures were now read, even from Exodus chapter three, when Moses saw the angel <laughs> of the Lord, it became clear that it was the angel who was actually leading them. But of course, he had the authority of God in him." Mm. And also in Exodus chapter 23, remember, mm-hmm. from verse number 20, yes. it was made clear mm-hmm. that it was an angel who was actually leading the children of Israel from Egypt to Canaan. Yes. But God's name was in this angel, you see. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what shocked me, Brother Nelson, was Judges yes. chapter 2. <laughs> uh, Judges chapter 2, yes. I want you to read this one. Yes. Of course, it's not part of uh, what we are going to learn, but I just wanted to show you that uh, it was an angel who played this drama. Yes. And but this, uh, the angel was representing the name of the Lord. Yes. Judges chapter 2 verse 1. And an angel of the Lord yes. came up from Gilgal to Bokim yes. and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt. Yes. And have brought you unto the land which I swear unto your fathers. Yes. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. You see now. <laughs> <laughs> So it was the angel of the Lord yes. who was actually talking to the children of Israel. Yes. He said, I'm the one. Yes. I made you I made to you go up to out go of up. Egypt. Yes. 
I am the one who brought you mm-hmm. unto the land which I swear yes. unto your fathers. Yes. <laughs> made a covenant with you. Yes. And that covenant yeah. was a covenant with the angels. Yes. Now so, it's, we should thank the Lord, Pastor. These yes. these things now they appear to be common, yeah, but they, yeah, they yeah. are not common. They are not common. Yes. That's why I said where we are now mm-hmm. is a secret a place in the presence of God <laughs> where we are uh, being kept secretly. Secretly. Mm-hmm. Yes. We are being kept secretly. Yes. So only those who know the secrets yes. of God, yes. they know where we are. Yes. They know our safety, they know our security. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, if you do not know the secret place of God, <laughs> of His presence, yes. and if you do not know His secret, mm-hmm. you do not know where we are. You do not know where His people are. Yes. So from verse number 11, um, uh, there's something that is interesting there which we have also learned in our previous teachings. Yes. I want you to read verse 11, Brother Nelson. Yes. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face. The Lord spake unto Moses face to face. <laughs> As a man speaketh unto his friend. You see now. And he turned again into the camp. But his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. You see. Yes. So these are the scriptures which make it difficult to understand <laughs> uh, what God meant uh, in the Bible. Because the emphasis which was put on verse number 11, yes. it was that the Lord was speaking unto Moses face to face. Yes. As a man speaketh unto, the, unto, unto his, his friend. friend yes. So if you tell people that, uh, <laughs> if you go to scriptures like John chapter 1 verse 18, and uh, scriptures like uh, first John chapter 4, Yes. Verse number 12, scriptures like John chapter 6, verse number 46. Mm-hmm. You hear about um, a, 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 a very much uh, declaration mm-hmm. uh, that there is no one who has seen God. Yes. There is no man who, have, who even know his shape. Yes. Because no man has seen God at any time. <laughs> and these were the words which were being spoken at a time when the children uh, of Israel believed that God was actually speaking with Moses face yes, to face. Yes. So when you see scriptures like this, mm-hmm. when you hear our Lord speaking these words, you get very much uh, confused. Yes. Because it's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Yes. Isn't it a secret, brother? Yes. It is a secret. It is a secret. Yes. So if it is a secret, if you are confused, it's, it's not your problem. Yes. It's not your problem. Mm-hmm. You have to become God's friend. Yes. For you to know one is a secret, mm-hmm. you have to be close to that person. Yes. So it is a secret. Mm-hmm. So when you do not know my secret, it's not a surprise. Yes. It is because you are not my friend. Yes. So there is no way that you can know my secret. Mm-hmm. So it's very clear from the scriptures that it was an angel who was actually yes. interacting with, with, yes. with Moses. Yes. So <laughs> I, I, I want us to skip a lot of other scriptures because we have learned these things in the in the prayer in the prayer uh, sermon. Yes. But I want us to go where Moses was requesting to for his presence, verse number 14. Start read from verse number 14. And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. So God actually, in, in, in course, yes. we now know that <laughs> it was an angel yes, who was yes. actually communing with, the, yes. with Moses. Yes. So he says, My presence shall go with thee. Thee, mm-hmm. and I'll give thee rest. Yes. Which means you need God's presence mm-hmm. for you to have rest. Yes. You need God's what? His presence. His presence. Mm-hmm. For you to have rest, you need God's presence. Yes. For you to have rest, mm-hmm. you need God's presence. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. when, when these scriptures now, so when God was talking about uh, the rest, yes. which is the true rest that we have in Christ. Yes. He knew very well that uh, there is no one who was going to get a rest mm-hmm. if he was not going to find God's presence. Yes. So those who claimed to be resting on a day, yes. a, a Saturday or whatever day you claim, you have to prove yes. that that day mm-hmm. is God's presence. Mm-hmm. Because according to Exodus chapter 33 verse 14, uh, it was made clear yes. that uh, uh, 
for you to go to to get rest yes which in the, at, the, at this particular time people suppose that when they are going to reach Canaan, yes that is the rest that they were going to get yes so in Hebrews chapter 4 now apostle was arguing <laughs> that Joshua because we knew we know we now know that Joshua is the one who uh, entered into the promised land with the children of Israel yes so because they were promised that once they reach that place yes they were going to find rest mm-hmm. so at this point we know it was like uh, they've eaten uh, they've gotten to a point where Moses was now kind of interceding for the people yes. to say these are the people which you actually promised that you're going to uh, give uh, the promised land yes. so if you want to destroy them now in the wilderness mm-hmm. what is going to be what 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 are we going to say now mm-hmm. concerning you yes. so this is a mystery which most people don't understand yes. that's why false preachers they say Moses actually cancelled God mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> God repented after being preached to by Moses mm. but it was an intercession yes. which had got a spiritual significance and representation yes. but on verse 14 he says I I'm, I'm making a commitment my presence shall go with thee mm-hmm. and I will give thee rest yes. which means you need God's presence yes. for you to get rest so whoever claims to be resting yes. in whatever is going to rest he must prove that that which is resting in is God's presence. presence yes. That's why in, in, in Psalm chapter 31, yes. and also in Psalm chapter 32, yes. when he was talking about the rest, yes. when he was talking about the hiding place, yes. he introduced yes. that mm-hmm. he's going to hide yes. his, uh, God's people mm-hmm. in the secret place of oh. his presence. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because outside his presence, mm-hmm. there is no rest. Yes. <laughs> Saka wana tu wana restam sa Saturday. Wana ngawa chiti mu Saturday mu ne present ama. Yes. Which is not true. But those who rest in Christ, according to Matthew chapter eleven, for verse twenty-eight, yeah. those who find their rest in Christ, they have found the true rest. Yeah. Because indeed, you cannot find rest outside His presence. Yeah. Because Christ is the presence of God. Yes. Where Christ is, that is where the presence of God is. Yes. But, so what happened after he promised to go with him? Verse 15. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. Yes. For wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Mm-hmm. Is it not in that thou goest with us? Yes. So shalt we be separated. I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. So, if we are going to find rest, yes. if you are going to go with us and you are going to find rest, that is the only sign that is going to separate us from the other people which are upon the face of the earth. <laughs> That's the only sign. Yes. Yes, verse number 17. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight, and and I know thee by name. Yes. And he said, I beseech thee, yes. show me thy glory. He said, show me thy what? Thy glory. He <laughs> said, show me thy glory. Yes. I want you to mark the request that Moses made. Yes. He said, show me thy glory. Remember, I was talking about the presence. Yes. He yes. said, if thy presence is not going to go with us, mm-hmm. we are not going to find the rest. Yes. And if we are not going to find rest, if your presence is not going to go with us, mm-hmm. there is no distinction mm-hmm. between us and the other people yes. of the face of the earth. Yes. But now he says, no, uh, for me to be assured <laughs> that uh, you are going to go with me, yes. may you show me your glory. Yes. Show me thy glory. Mm-hmm. And what happened? And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. Yes. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. Yes. And will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. Yes. And will show mercy to wh- on whom I will show mercy. I will show mercy to, on, to whom I will show mercy. Yes. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. Yes. yes. And he said, Thou canst not see my face. So he requested to see 
yes. the glory. Yes. And then he's told, you cannot see my face. Yes. But coming from verse number two, <laughs> uh, verse number 11, in fact. Verse number 11. Verse number 11, speak. he was saying, the Lord spake unto Moses face, face to face. face. <laughs> but just some few verses after, he said, you can't see he my says, face. You cannot see verse my face. 20. Yes. You cannot see my face. Mm-hmm. Why? For they shall no man see me and live. So what was happening on verse number 11? <laughs> if no man cannot see you and live. Mm-hmm. But you said on verse number 11, the Lord was speaking with Moses face to face. face, to face. Mm-hmm. As a man speaketh unto his friend. Uh-huh. But now you are saying, you cannot see my face. <laughs> if, if you are going to see my face, no man will see my face and live. So are we talking to a dead man? Just uh, uh, 10 verses after. Uh, what is happening? Let's, let's read verse 21. And the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me. There is a place by me. What means yes. is this place which we are going to learn about. Mm-hmm. If, if you find me, yeah. that's where you are going to find this place. This place, yes. He did not say there is a place where I am. No. He says there is a place by me. Yes. Which means you cannot get this place Yes. If you are not uh, if you are not at where he is. Yes. There is a place by me. Yes. yes. What and should you what should I do? I want he was requesting to see his glory, remember? Yes, yes. He wanted to see his glory. Mm-hmm. Then he said there is a place by me. Yes. Yes. And thou shalt stand upon a rock. Thou shalt stand upon a rock. And it shall come to pass. Yes. While my glory passeth by. Yes. That I will put thee in a cliff. In a cliff of the rock. Yes. And will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. You see now. Yes. So he said, verse number 21. <laughs> Let's go back to verse number 21. Yes. He says, No. And the Lord said, The request that you have made to me. Yes. There's one problem. Mm-hmm. You cannot see my face. Because yes. when you said, I want to see your glory. Yes. You're actually saying, I want to see your face. Yes. That is the interpretation. Yes. That's if you say, I want to see your glory. You want to see my face. Yes. So you cannot see my face and live. Yes. And uh, because you cannot see my face and live, what I'm going to do, mm-hmm. I've improvised a place. Mm-hmm. There is a place by me. Yes. And thou shalt stand upon a rock. Yes. There is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And what happens? And it shall come to pass. Yes. Why will my glory pass it by? When my glory is passing by, that I will put thee in a cliff of the rock. Don't put yourself, there is a cliff of this rock. Yes. What you should do yourself is, there is a place by me, mm-hmm. but just stand on a rock yourself. Yes. <laughs> if you are going to stand on a rock, mm-hmm. then I will put thee in a cliff of the rock. It shall come to pass. Not it now. shall come to pass, not yeah. now. Yes. It shall come to pass. <laughs> Yes. Why my glory passeth by? Yes. That I will put thee in the cliff of the rock. Yes. yes. And will cover thee with my hand. And I will cover thee with my hand. While I pass by. While I pass by. Yes. And I will take and I will take away mine hand. Yes. And thou shalt see my back parts. Yes. But my face shall not be seen. You see now. Yes. So in in in, in I, I don't understand, brother, no so. <laughs> Instead of just saying to Moses, yes. uh, you can't see my face. Yes. And end there. Yes. Why all this drama, brother? <laughs> if therefore I cannot see your, your face, why promising me that uh, there's a place by me? Mm. I thought maybe you are saying, since I requested you to see your glory, mm. and now I know that your glory is your face. Yes. When you said there's a place by me, mm-hmm. I said, well, maybe uh, on this particular place, <laughs> I'm going to be allowed to, yes. to see mm. the face. Yes. But this place by me, where you're going to stand on a rock, when my glory is going to pass by, mm. then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in the cliff <laughs> of the rock, and I'm going to bring my hand yes. to cover you. Yes. And you are not going to see my, my glory. Yes. What you're going to see is you're going to see my back, my back part. Yes. But my face shall not be seen. Yes. Saka in America, I think I saw John 1 18. 
Ushinza hakuna kaona mwari. Hicho gwadi. Eh? Hicho gwadi. Hakuna kaona mwari. Hakuna kaona mwari. Yes. Aga ramba ka. Aga zuramba kata iwone kitu. Aga ta iwone kitu. Yes. Kese anga ya sikuwe neko. Mm-hmm. But what I was asking brother Nelson is why was he doing all this drama mm-hmm. if he knew very well if he wanted him to see the back part mm-hmm. why didn't he just say I'm not going to show you my face mm-hmm. what I'm going to do is what you are going to see is my back part yes. but my face you are not going to see <laughs> but he says he promised you want to see my glory mm-hmm. no the problem is you cannot see me and live mm-hmm. but anyway there is a place by me yes <laughs> <laughs> There is a place by me. Yes. Come on the rock. Yeah. So what happened on this particular uh, day is indeed from the scriptures the glory of the Lord passed. Yes. The only one who was not allowed to see the glory was Moses. Yes. On account of the request that he had made, mm-hmm. it was not going to be accomplished in this particular testament. Yes. Those who are going to see the glory of God Yes. Which is the the, the 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 express image of his glory. Yes. Christ is mm-hmm. the express image of his glory. Mm-hmm. Those who are going to see the glory of God. Yes. They were going to wait until so when he said there is a place by me. Yes. And you have to stand on a rock. He was making a prophecy. Mm-hmm. He was prophesying that there's going to be a place which was going to be created. Mm-hmm. And people were supposed to stand on a rock. Yes. And when they stand on a rock, mm-hmm. there is a preparation that needs to be done for people to see me as I am now. I am not yet to be seen. The word was with God, and the word was God, mm-hmm. and the word was made flesh. Yes. And we behold mm-hmm. the glory as of the begotten. Yes. And the begotten. Mm-hmm. So when he was saying there's a place by me, he was actually prophesying, you cannot see, you cannot see the glory of God. Yes. In other words, if you see me, you are, you are going to see the glory of God. Yes. But when are you going to see me? people were going to behold the glory of the of the begotten. Yes. The glory as of the begotten. Remember, yes. Moses said, I want to see your glory. <laughs> glory, I got to go and I got to be one. Yes. Luba, I the back parts, mm-hmm. but the glory, I was denied access. Yes. But now we see in John chapter 1, the, 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 the Apostle John representing even the believers yes. and the, even the, the ministers of the gospel. Yes. We beheld the glory as of the begotten Son. And that's what is in the book of First Corinthians chapter 3, mm-hmm. verse number 18. First Corinthians chapter 3, um, it's actually Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse number 18. Yes. We, yes. Yes. Face to face. But, yes. yes. But, but we all, yes. with an open face, yes. beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, yes. are changed into the same image from glory to glory. So we are beholding the glory of what? The of, glory of, yes, of the yes, Lord. Yeah. With an open face. Mm-hmm. With an open face, we yes. are beholding as in a glass yes. the glory of the Lord. Yes. And that glory changed. that we are beholding, mm-hmm. we are being changed into the same image from glory, from to, glory, glory to glory. Even as by the Spirit of even the Lord. Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. <laughs> you see now? Yes. So, what I wanted you to see is he was actually prophesying mm-hmm. that the glory that passed on this particular day which the Lord said um, while my glory passeth by yes. that I will put thee in the cliff of the rock mm-hmm. and will cover thee with my hand yes. while I pass by. Mm-hmm. You see? Yes. But what I'm going to allow you to see for now mm-hmm. you are going to see my back part. Yes. And the reason why I, I came to Exodus chapter 33, I wanted you to see also that it's time, time bound. Yes. Yeah. What restricted Moses to see uh, the glory of God in this yes. particular time? Yes. It was time. Yes. 
the dispensation. Mm -hmm. The begotten of the Son was not yet revealed. Yes. He was the glory of God was only going to be seen as of the begotten of the Father. Yes. The only begotten mm -hmm. our Pope. Yes. And the only begotten So I was saying the the place which the Lord was prophesying about, mm -hmm. it was um, prophetic. It was prophetic. Yes. And I want Mufangeri to go to First Corinthians chapter chapter ten. Uh, just read verse number four. First Corinthians chapter ten, verse number four. Uh, while it's Mukoman also, I wanted to read. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 32 Deuteronomy chapter 32 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 10 uh, verse number 4 you can read in Hungary. and did all drink the same spiritual drink mm -hmm. yes. for the drink of the spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ yes. you see now mm -hmm. yes yes <coughs> Yes. Rakanga ri Kristo. Pavaka no mvura dzavaka no. Vaka no wa from a spiritual. They drank the same spiritual drink. Yes. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. Yes. And that rock was. Vakamo funga ri komanoso. So there's a mystery that is there mkomanoso ni mvangeli. Yes. Uh, which I, I hope believers will manage to see that mystery. When we, we, we have discovered now mm -hmm. that God decided to send an angel to guide uh, the people of Israel. Yes. And um, we see the people of Israel, and we see them at um, <clears throat> some place, they're getting thirsty, mm -hmm. and they're requiring uh, uh, water to drink. Mm -hmm. And Moses, uh, the first time he hit the the, the rock, the stone, yes. by his rod, mm -hmm. and water gushed out. Yeah. Then on the second time, he was also instructed to speak mm -hmm. to, the, to the stone, but he decided to hit the stone, and God was angry about it. Yes. But uh, we know that story, I'm, I'm not going to venture into that. But when you read in First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, we hear that, uh, not that they were following the spiritual rock, no. no. Mm -hmm. It was the spiritual rock that followed them. Yeah. What it means is Israel mm -hmm. and whoever was leading them, the angel was leading them, and Moses, the testator. Yes. And uh, from First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, mm -hmm. the people of Israel, they were ahead yes. of the spiritual rock. Yes. The spiritual rock was following. Yes. And that is a figurative language. The reason why the spiritual rock was following them everywhere where they were going the spiritual rock was following them. Yes. It is because when we read of all the things which Moses wrote about and everything which happened and all the prophets which prophesied, mm -hmm. they were prophesying concerning Christ, yes. which means what went ahead of Christ was the prophecy. Yes. The prophecy, the law, went ahead. Then Christ was following, yes. which means it was also prophetic mm -hmm. that the Lord was going to come yes. after. Yes. Because that spiritual rock, the rock which they drank from, it was not a spiritual rock. Yes. <laughs> because the word spiritual, you must you must understand. Yes. The word spiritual, it just means um, of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So we know. Those who prophesied, if you go to Second Peter chapter one, from verse twenty, mm -hmm. even 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 First Peter chapter one, from verse nine to eleven, mm -hmm. we know that as they were prophesying, they were being moved yes. by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. They were being moved by the Spirit of God, yes. Yes. which means the Spirit of God was actually determining what they did, what happened to them, every life which they lived. It was a prophecy. Yes. And the prophet was going to go ahead. So every time they had to, let's say they need water, they need water to drink. Mm -hmm. the, 
the the holy men of God who were moved by the Spirit of God, <laughs> they were going to be directed by. Remember, it was God who said he took to the stone. Yes, yes. So what it means is Holy Spirit was making sure that the prophets of Christ is preserved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And every time when they were drinking from that rock, mm-hmm. it was going to represent Christ. Yes. Who is the spiritual rock? Yes. So when Apostle Paul was saying they drank from the spiritual rock, he was not talking about the the, the rock which they drank from. Mm-hmm. He was now preaching to show us that the rock which they're drinking about from yes. when they drank water when they were thirsty, mm-hmm. it was actually representing Christ. Yes. Christ is the spiritual rock. Yes. So I like it when he said that the rock was Christ. Yes. So when he said when he said there's a place by me, mm-hmm. when he said there's a place by me, yes. I want you to and thou shalt stand upon a rock. Mm-hmm. There is a place <laughs> by me. Yes. I want you to stand upon a rock. Yes. But when you stand upon a rock, mm-hmm. there's something that I'm going to do. Because at the moment, mm-hmm. I don't want you to see uh, my glory. Yes. My glory shall be revealed at a later time. Yes. The only begotten of the Father. Yes. Because the word is going to be made flesh. Yes. Yes. After that, he's going to be declared the begotten yes. of the Father. Yes. And when he's begotten of the Father, the believers, the saints, the elect, mm-hmm. they are going to be held. They yes. will be held by the only begotten of the Father. Yes. You see? Yes. So there's a rock. <laughs> there's a rock. Christ is the rock. Yes. He is the rock. So I wanted you, Brother Nelson, I had mentioned uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32. Yes. Uh, I wanted to read verse number 1 to 4. Yes. Deuteronomy 32. Yes. Yes. Give, give ear, O you heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, as the showers upon the grass. Because I will will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto unto God. He is the rock. His work is perfect, for all his ways are judgment, a God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. You see now. Yes. So, this is what he, he said yes. in the book of Deuteronomy. Yes. God, he is the rock. Mm-hmm. He is the rock. Yes. He is the, he is the rock. Mm-hmm. So, in verse number 3, he says, um, verse number 3, Deuteronomy 32. Because be, I will publish the name of the Lord. Yes. Ascribe ye greatness unto God. You see now. Unto our God. Yes. Unto our God. Yes. I will actually publish the name of the Lord yes. and the the greatness um, is going to be ascribed yes. the greatness of our God. Yes. Then on verse number four, he now introduces that God He is the rock. He is the rock. Yes. The rock. His so, work is perfect. Yes, His work yes. is perfect. Mm-hmm. And all His judgment. Yes. Yes. For all His ways are judgment. Yes. A God of truth yes. and without iniquity. Yes. Just and right is he. You see now. Yes. So when he was coming now as God, uh, when he was manifesting, yes. remember the word was God. Yes. In John chapter 1 verse 1. Mm-hmm. The word was God. Mm-hmm. Which means when the word, when the word was made flesh, yes. what means is it's God mm-hmm. who actually came. Yes. It's God who came mm-hmm. in the flesh. Yes. And when God came in the flesh, mm-hmm. he, he is God. He was supposed to be righteous. Yes. He was supposed to be just. Yes. And no iniquity was supposed to be found 
mm-hmm. from him. Yes. And his work is perfect. Yes. Everything that was going to come, he was going to 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 do a perfect yes. a perfect job. Mm-hmm. And these are the credentials that we see. Mm-hmm. So when we see the, the 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 introduction of the rock, and we now see the the the, the preparation of a hiding place. Yes. The, the, the place that we are learning about Christ as our hiding place, mm-hmm. we see very clearly that God had to prepare this place. Yes. This place was not always there. Mm-hmm. So that's why the absence of this place, it made it possible yes. for the lies of the, 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 the lying tongue, the lying mm-hmm. lips, Yes. Um, the strife of, of tongues, yes. the evil men, mm-hmm. uh, the, the waters from the serpent. Mm-hmm. Throughout all this time, he was thriving yes. because the place was not yet uh, created. Yes. That's why in <laughs> Revelation chapter 12, the, 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 that's why I was saying the man child was yes. caught up unto God yes. and to God's throne. Mm-hmm. And after that, we see the introduction of a place. Yes, yes. Because this place was going to be created after the main child is caught up unto God. Yes. So that's, 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 that's where I wanted you to see, <laughs> brethren. That's where I wanted you to see. So we, we are now having uh, the secret place yes. where God's presence is. Mm-hmm. And because of that secret place, that is where God has decided to hide his people. Yes. But I was saying, if, if, if a hiding place is created, mm-hmm. what is it created for? Yes. And we have seen now that uh, the hiding place was created because God wanted to only uh, save his elect, yes. which were going to find a place mm-hmm. prepared for them. Yes. Because outside this place, Mm -hmm. there is no chance, Brother Nelson, Mm -hmm. that you are going to survive, that you are going to escape. There is no sign. Mm -hmm. There is is war. There is war from all over. Mm -hmm. And (laughs) as we we progress, Brother Nelson, I want you you to comment after reading. Uh, Let's go to the book of Psalm, uh, Psalm 18. Yes. The book of Psalm 18, and I want you to comment after reading Psalm 18. Yes, yes. Um, let's see. The hiding place. Yes, the Lord <laughs> is our hiding place. Yes. Um, I want you to read first of all, verse number 31. Yes. Yes. For who is God? Save the Lord. Or who is a rock? Save our God. Verse 32. It is God that gathered me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like his feet and setteth me upon my high places. Why? Verse 34. He, he teacheth my hands to war. Yes. So that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. You see now. By so my arms, yes. You see, in verse number... He's talking about the rock. Yes. Uh, who is the rock? Save our God. Mm-hmm. For who is God? Save the Lord. Yes. For who is the rock? Save yes. our God. Yes. You see. <laughs> and on verse number thirty-three, he says, "What this God does, or what, 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 what is it about this God? Who is yes. the rock? He, he make maketh my feet like his feet. feet. Yes. And setteth me upon my high places. You see now. Yes." So those of you who know the the hands, the hands, the hands feet, uh, the hands feet is is able to 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 go to greater heights. Yes, and is also quick. Yes, uh, in 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 its um in its, a, movements, in its yes. movements. And we are still talking of that a high place. Yes, we are talking about the, of the floods. Yes, yes, the high place because you need to be on a higher altitude. Yes, because remember there are floods. Mm. That are going to destroy you. Yes. So he has set me upon high places. 
Mm-hmm. You need the hands fit yes. for you to go to high place, to the high places. Yes. You see. Yes. And the reason why he talks about the hands fit, it is about the the gospel again. Yes. It is about the message. Yes. So the hands they are quick yes. to master. They master the scriptures <laughs> very quick. Yes. <laughs> they master the scriptures very quick. Yes. When they listen to the word of God, they master the word very quick. Yes. When they meditate on the word of God, they are very quick yes. to understand. Yes. Because if you don't have the hands fit, mm-hmm. you are going to fall on the ground. Yes. And on the ground, there are a lot of a lot of very much destructive animals. Yes. The the predators. Mm-hmm. They are found on the ground. Yes. If you go to the greater heights, very few predators. They reach the, those heights. Yes. So he maketh my feet like hinds feet, mm-hmm. and setteth me upon my high places. Yes. Verse thirty-four. Why? <laughs> he teacheth my hands to war. Yes. So that the bow of steel is broken by mine arms. So that's why I, I wanted that scripture because the bow of steel. We, yes. we, we <laughs> learn about fighting now. Yes. So as soon as he introduced God as the rock. Yes. He now tells us about war. Mm-hmm. So we are being trained to fight. Yes. It's a war situation. Mm-hmm. So in a war situation, it's either you're going to attack the enemy, mm-hmm. or if you are not going to destroy the an- the enemy, it is you who is going to be destroyed by the enemy. Yes. And how are believers going to be destroyed by the enemy? Why did God create the hiding place? Mm-hmm. And who is our hiding place? Yes. Christ is our hiding place. Mm-hmm. Where are we going to find? How are we going to get into Christ? Mm-hmm. How are we going to f- to hide into Christ? Mm-hmm. We have learned that the word of the Lord. Yes. Because when we talk about Christ, we are talking about the word of the Lord. Yes. We are talking about the word that was made flesh. Mm-hmm. We are talking about the suffering of Christ. Yes. Which he went through when he was on the earth. Mm-hmm. We are talking about the death that he died on the cross yes. to die for your sins, yes. to die for my sins. Mm-hmm. So that's why in 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 Psalm 32 where we started to introduce this uh, hiding place yes, yes. Uh, teaching, we started by showing you that on account of your sins being forgiven, yes, that's that qualifies you to be in the hiding place. Yes, and it is the Lord mm-hmm. who Himself puts you into the hiding place. Yes. <laughs> It is the Lord who puts you in the hiding place. Yes. So I'm coming now soon. I wanted you to comment now. Yes. Uh, the relationship between this hiding place where we are learning, mm-hmm. we've discovered that the hiding place is 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 is, is Christ. Yes. Christ is our safety. Mm-hmm. We should be in Christ. Yes. For we to be safe. Yes. Once we go out of Christ, it's not safe. It's not safe. And that's the purpose of the of the re- place of refuge. Yes. If you, if there be any such place, God have created that, and is saying it's a place of hiding. It means there is danger out there. Uh, I think by just merely stating that you hide in Him, or maybe create the creation of a secret place of His presence, it means out there there is war, there is loss of life, there is predatory. Uh, it's not a safe environment at all. It's an environment of turmoil. It's an environment of crying, of deaths. Uh, and there is no mercy out there. That's the other thing. Because it means there, is, there are no any other uh, negotiations out there. As long as you're out there, the danger is imminent for you. So that's, that, that's the sense now that I'm getting from this place, Pastor. That uh, if you're not in this place, you can be caught by anything that is going to consume you. That is going to devour you. Uh, as we have seen, we need now to expand around because we have seen that there are floods out there. There is also lying and striving t- tongues out there, as we have read also in, in, in Psalm chapter 32. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have also established that the devil is a roaring lion out there as well, uh, as we read also in, in the book of Revelation. Now we need to see how much danger is there out there. How much secure are we? If we're going to find such a place as it has been said of the Lord, that's the, the secret place of his presence where we are hiding. And we have seen that that's the New Testament. Because 
That's the place which we are, we, we, are, we are saying is Christ's presence. We are going to be in Christ. We are going to be in his righteousness. We are going to find ourselves inside him. Uh, if ever we are, going, we are now going to be found outside, what's mm. the danger? I think we can discuss also around the day, <laughs> Pastor Paul. Okay, we, okay. We, we are enjoying the hiding place. Yes. We are enjoying mm. also the way it was established. We have learned that it had to come, and it, it also pinpointed on his suffering, that the word was to be made flesh. Yes. And by making the word flesh, he was going to create that place. It was not there natural, without him suffering, without him creating it for mm. us. Okay. But what was the purpose? He, could he create a hiding place or a place of refuge where there is no danger yes. or where there is no uh, any threat to life? Uh, it shows that out there, there is so much threat and uh, life can be lost. There is no mercy. There, is no, there are no chances anywhere outside the, refu the place of refuge. So okay. So far, the, the, the issue going also now is uh, mm -hmm. everyone will say, I am, I, am, I am in the state of refuge, or yes. I am in the hiding place. But what we have discovered is that... This is secretive. Yes. <laughs> what we have discovered is that it is the Lord himself who actually is going to hide you. Yes. You cannot hide yourself. You cannot discover this place by yourself. Yes. It is God who is going to do that. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask him, Vangeli, do you see now, uh, if we go to the book of Acts, where we have read Acts chapter 20, um, where Apostle Paul was saying, he was addressing the, the, the elders at Ephesus. Yes. And then he started to say, there are some wolves mm -hmm. which are going to come from among you. Oh, yeah. They are not going to spare the, the mm. flock. Yes. What they are going to do is, these ones, they are going to draw mm -hmm. the sheep unto themselves. Yes. This is what they are going to do. And that's why, that's why he was himself. saying over three years he Saga. was crying. Yeah, over three years he was crying. Morning in tears. Yes, he was crying. Yeah. Yes. But what I wanted believers to see is when Apostle Paul was saying I was crying, mm -hmm. it was not just a cry of Munarungo Chema Ari, Asinga Ziri, Kutu Shwe Tkwa Sei. Yes. Kutu Shino Shwa Shwa Dai, Shino Shwa Di, Sakandara Wazi Wano. If you remember very well where it started. Yes. He was, um, he said on verse number, yes, that one, not, not that one, oh, okay. uh, on verse number um, 27, yes, he said, uh, verse 26 and 27, wherefore I take you to record this day, yes, that I am pure of all, of, from the blood of all men, I am pure from the blood of all men, what have you done to be pure from the blood of all men? For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. You see now. Yes. So when Apostle Paul was saying I was crying all these three years, when I discovered that there are some among you who are going to uh, go astray. Yes. And they are going to actually uh, be problematic because we are going to lose some, some, some believers. Uh, because of this which is going to happen. So uh, uh, verse number 29, this is the scripture which I wanted to read in Fangeri, Acts 20 verse 29. Yes, for I know this, yes. that after my departing shall uh, grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Yes. Also of your own selves yes. shall men arise, yes, Speaking the best things yes. to draw away disciples after them. You see how well, it is connected yes. to where we started? Yes. yes. Because those who are going to be out of the hiding place, the, the, the mechanism for the strategy which the devil is going to use, yes. they are going to be drawn away from the hiding place. Mm -hmm. But how is it going to happen? There are some men who shall arise speaking perverse things. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he said, this is going to happen when I depart. Yes. What he was actually saying is, now that I'm there, that's why I said I continued mm -hmm. day and night yes. with the tears. Yes. Which means he was actually um, uh, giving them the, the full counsel of God. Yes. 
he was making sure that when it comes to purity, everything that is required mm-hmm. on purity matters, I have taught you. Yes. When it becomes to maybe how the, the house of God uh, is ordered in terms of its activities and so forth, I've taught you. Mm-hmm. When it comes to giving or ministering to the king of kings, I've taught you. Yes. When it comes to fellowshipping with believers and also embracing one another, I've taught you. When it comes to the doctrine of Christ, I've taught you. Yes. Everything that you require now for you to remain, remember that woman for 1,260 days, mm-hmm. she yes. must remain uh, in that place which the Lord has created. Yes. But I, the earth... which is swallowing the earth. Yes. Mm-hmm. So the, at that place, mm-hmm. that is the only place where you are going to find the earth that can swallow this, the, the, the flood. Yes. You see? Mm-hmm. So perversions are going to rise. Yes. And what makes matters worse is it's not going to come from those who are outside. Yes. There are those who are outside who are going also to bring perversions. Mm-hmm. But we have those who are among us. Yes. Who are also going to, to, to speak perverse things. Yes. And by so doing, they are yes. not going to spare the flow. Mm-hmm. You see? Yes. So, what I wanted uh, you to see, believer, uh, look at me. I know uh, we've, we've, we've preached for some time now. But what, what I want you to see is you must be careful. You must watch. You must be sober. Yes. Uh, this hiding place that has been created for us, we can only stay in the hiding place like what Evangelist has just shown us. As long as we are in that place, we don't move elsewhere. Because that is where the ministers who are ordained by God, the apostles who are ordained by God, they are only found in that place. Yes. Because you are not going to see that this is a lie. Uh, let us be honest with ourselves. How many of us have seen certain scriptures that we used to, be, to think that we know, certain messages that we used to believe, which were so much heretical, and so much leading us to the lake of fire. But we thought we had found, even those who used to preach, there are times when we thought I found a revelation. Now that you are in the New Testament church, the true church, mm-hmm. where there are true ministers of the gospel who can open their mouth and swallow the flood. Mm-hmm. How many waters were swallowed so far ever since you came to Jesus' revelation ministries to hear the word of God? ever since you started to listen to the evangelic sermons which were preached by Apostle Schwenger, how many waters have you seen being swallowed so that you can remain firm in the faith? So what the devil does, remember, this is the roaring lion which Brother Nelson was talking about, is written in them like a roaring lion in the in First Peter chapter 5. Yes. Um, let us read that scripture. Yes. I think it will help us to understand. Yes. First Peter chapter five, mm-hmm. um, verse number eight and nine. Be sober. Be, be sober. Mm-hmm. Yes. And what? Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Why? Be- because your adversary, the devil, yes, as a roaring lion, yes, walketh about, yes. seeking whom he may devour. Yes. So what should we do? Whom resist steadfast in the faith. Yes. Knowing that the same afflictions yes. are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. You see now. Yes. So how are we going to resist him? Steadfastly. Resist him steadfastly in what? In the faith. In the faith. Yes. How are you going to get faith? Where do you get faith? Where which which shops <laughs> can we go and buy faith? Is not faith coming from hearing yes, and yes. hearing the word of God yes. according to Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Yes. So if faith comes by hearing mm-hmm. and hearing by the word of God, if the only weapon that we are going to use to overcome the devil is faith, and if faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God, yes. how are we going to hear if there's no preacher? <laughs> and how are they going to preach if they are not sent? Yes. So, where I'm drawing you to, I want you to see that we are going to lose uh, some of us 
to the devil. Yes. Not because it's something that is new, no. Mm. It is there in the scripture. That's why it is written, you must be watch. Yes. You must be watchful. You must be sober. Mm-hmm. You must be vigilant. Yes. Mm. You must know that the, as a roaring lion, yes. the devil seeks one to devour. Mm-hmm. And like what Brother Nelson was saying, the moment that you move an inch out of the city of refuge, that is going to mark your, 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 your destruction. Yes. But where I want you to, to, to look at now is if it is faith, Brother Anosin and Evangel, which is going to help us to resist him. Yes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Because the devil instructed, he was, he's not going to stop to come. Yes. Remember the serpent which actually released waters from, him, from his mouth. Mm-hmm. He was not killed, that serpent, when it happened. Yes. I thought for those 1,260 days, <laughs> God was going to kill that dragon, <laughs> to kill that serpent, mm. so that the woman would come back. And do you see that the woman was going to relocate? Have you seen that, Brother Nelson? Yes, yes. Because the woman, when she was given uh, the, two the two wings, wings yes. she was going to fly, to which desert. means it mm. was a relocation. Yes. Mm. And this place where this woman was going into the wilderness mm-hmm. is not a comfortable place. Yes. Mm. It is a place which is new, yes. but it is a place which you are not familiar with. Yes. You are going to be introduced into that place. Mm-hmm. It's outside the comfort zone. Yes. Mm. And you do not have an option yes. if you want to overcome or if you want to be safe. Yes. So the hiding place which is coming where we should end now, which is Christ mm-hmm. as our hiding place, yes. which is the doctrine that we have believed. Mm-hmm. Which means the day that you start to walk away from the doctrine. Mm-hmm. When you are walking away from the doctrine, you are not to you. You are you maybe you'll be saying, I know this one, I don't agree with it. Mm-hmm. That's what you'll be saying. But what you are actually doing is you are actually coming out of the hiding place. Yes. And when you come out of the hiding place, because that word that you are receiving, <laughs> I like when Apostle Paul said. I did not I did not withhold or shun yes. the full counsel of God. Yes. He did not use the word uh, mm. gospel or doctrine. Yes. He used the full counsel of God. Yes. Because the full counsel of God is the full package of the gospel. Yes. Of the gospel. Mm-hmm. It involves the, 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 the teachings about Christ. Yes. Mm. It also involves the instruction yes. about how the church should live or should conduct itself or it, it, its affairs. Yes. Mm. It talks about the whole lot of things. Yes. It talks about the decrees that we are talking about mm-hmm. when we started this, uh, yes, in this yes, service. Yes, yes. The decrees yes. which are going to be ordained by the apostles. Mm-hmm. It, it, it brings the whole things together mm-hmm. to become one. That's why I say it's a full counsel mm-hmm. of God. Yes. It's a full counsel of God. I did not shun mm-hmm. the full counsel of God. Yes. Because he knew very well mm-hmm. that if he had shunned, or if he had, if he had not uh, maybe written First Corinthians chapter 7 mm-hmm. to instruct the church mm-hmm. of what believers must do yes. when it comes to their marriages, what about those who are divorced, what about those who are single, mm-hmm. what about those who have been married, mm-hmm. what about if he had not done that, he would feel that my hands have blood. Because there are people who are going to die in ignorance yes. mm. without knowing what mm. is God's desire, what is God's expectation when it comes to marriage. Yes. So when it comes to marriage, I, I gave you the, the counsel of God, mm-hmm. the full counsel of God. Mm-hmm. When it comes to uh, how you should live, yes. I, 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 I've ordered you, when it comes to how brethren should relate with the brethren, mm-hmm. with the brethren I've given you orders. Yes. When it comes to how believers should relate with those unbelievers, those married women uh, who are married to unbelievers, I do not shun to you the counsel of God. Yes. What is God's counsel? Mm-hmm. Not what I think or what you think, mm-hmm. but what is God's counsel. Yes. And when we say it's God's counsel, uh, that's why I said this hiding place, people, they now play around with this hiding place. Yes. So, we see now, we have to rely on those who are saved. Yes. It comes back because if it is faith in Vangeli, 
that we need to overcome the devil. Mm. Then where are we going to get faith? From the preacher. From the preacher. Mm-hmm. So it's, 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 there's a deception that the devil is putting into uh, unto people mm-hmm. where people may say, I'm not walking away from, from the gospel. <laughs> I'm walking away from the preacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know how you're going to do it. Mm. Because the devil is coming. That's why yes. he's the devil. Mm. That's why these are waters that are coming from the, <laughs> from the dragon. Mm. He's very cunning. Yes. And the perverse uh, words mm. that are going to be spoken by those who used to walk with Paul, those who used to believe the gospel that Paul preached, mm. it was going to be very cunning mm-hmm. to other believers, maybe who are not were vigilant, yes. to those who are not sober. Mm-hmm. They will say, no, my brother Nelson, mm-hmm. we used to see him uh, in the studio, yes. but now he's saying he has discovered a scripture <laughs> where people can now pay tithe. Mm. So there are some people who say, oh, no, but it could be true. Mm. Because why are they saying Nelson is lost? Because <laughs> they are jealous of Nelson. Yeah. They, they, they think they are the only ones who preach. So, mm. But I like the defense that uh, they are, uh, when you read uh, Apostle Paul's words yes. about how he was committed to defend the gospel. Mm. You would rather uh, uh, maybe desire yes. that people would actually... Uh, undermine him, yes. but not tempering yes. with the gospel that he preached. Mm-hmm. Because it is this gospel which brings faith. Yes. Yes. It is this gospel which is actually uh, the one that is going to use to overcome the devil. Yes. So, I know, I know, I know, Munanenga Jirimo, Ndubana, Ndubapai, Mukutareo Tiziro Jirimo, can I warramba is a sweet? Chinesic like sound advice and it. Uno gonna get on by resig like sound and warramba or him. Great. Can I my hiding place? Great. Actually, because if you if you look at uh, was here chapter four, mm-hmm. uh, it says, My people are destroyed for lack, for lack of knowledge. Yes. And we also go to Proverbs chapter 11. Uh, I like it on verse number 9. Uh, it says, The hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor, mm-hmm. but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Mm-hmm. Now, if the deliverance is going to come through the knowledge, and you have despised the knowledge, as Osia puts it, mm-hmm. that now that we have rejected knowledge, mm-hmm. uh, the, Lord has rejected the Lord has rejected you. The Lord, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so you cannot say you are safe. Mm-hmm. You are actually in the seat of refuge because mm-hmm. any rejection of God's principles, mm-hmm. statutes, laws, mm-hmm. it, 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 it brings you out of the presence. Mm-hmm. It brings you out of the hiding place of Yes, mm-hmm. I love the, the other scripture. Maybe just to add on that, in uh, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 29, uh, which says, He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's also the same. But <laughs> you can take that. Yeah. Yes. Well, so, so yeah. that's why Paul was crying. I, I now understand why he was in tears. And that's also why he was lamenting uh, the Galatians Mm -hmm. when they started in the faith. But they were now being uh, corrupted. Remember, Mm -hmm. there were those Jews who came Mm -hmm. from Jerusalem. And they were convincing. Every time when you see people coming out from the Mm -hmm. hiding place, the secret of God, Mm -hmm. where God puts his people, Mm -hmm. they are people who will be coming. Yes. It always comes with people. Mm-hmm. Do you know anyone? Yes. Yes, look at Galatians 4, yes. where we read uh, at first, verse 15. Yes, so Apostle Paul there was 
He was showing the commitment of the Galatians. Initially, because yes. remember, Paul was preaching with an infirmity. Mm -hmm. uh, he had an, a, an eye problem. Eye, yeah. eye problem. Eye problem. Yes. 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 So they did not mind yes. at first. But at first, they were not sure how to miss it. Yes. Yes. As can a man, ah, who would have got a lot of money, miss it. They are not going to get it. For no longer is there a stand at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, mm -hmm. That's why Paul said, You received me as an angel of God, which means you actually accepted that I was sent by God. Yes. I'm a messenger who came from God. Mm -hmm. So you should also trust yes. that whatever correction I'm giving to you, mm -hmm. this correction is meant to actually strengthen you mm -hmm. in the work of faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So what happens now is whenever a uh, the devil wants to destroy the believers or to fight the church. It fights the church when it comes to the preaching of the, of the word, yes. the counsel. Mm -hmm. Because remember, it's the game of the mouth. Yes. The dragon was given a mouth. And these ones, the earth was, it opened his mouth <laughs> to also swallow. So it's a game of the mouth. Yes. So the preacher should preach for us to be safe. Yes. If the preachers are not going to preach, we are not going to be safe yes. because we need the preaching. Mm -hmm. And also on this other side, those who want to uh, corrupt mm -hmm. the faith of believers, yes. they also come with words. Mm. They also come with words. Yes. And it's not difficult for you to see whether these words, they are destructive mm -hmm. or these words are constructive. It comes back to after hearing the word, yes. what faith are you going to, 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 to have? Mm -hmm. What education mm -hmm. are you going to have? Paninya would not all one one, and not my comments are not all one one. They go to Capeza Gumanswa, a panachamari, Chamu Zida Majil, and Mugon. A panachamari, Chamu Zida Majil. You hear a message, you hear a report. You hear gossip. Yes. At the end of the day, what you bring home, what what is, what is going to remain with you? Suppose you have heard something concerning Pastor Baloy yes. or Evangelist Mafolo mm -hmm. or Brother Nelson. Yes. Maybe something that Pastor Baloy has, has done. Mm -hmm. When you embrace such kind of information, yes. At the end of the day, <laughs> what edification are you going to get? Because you are now allowing some someone else. Yes. To open his mouth or her mouth mm -hmm. to speak certain things. Yes. So the devil is very cunning. There are so many strategies that is going to use. But at the end of the day, it is to do with is going to affect your faith. Yes. And in first John chapter five, verse number four, mm -hmm. he says, For whatsoever is born of God, yes, overcometh the world. And this is the victory that yes. overcometh the world. This is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Even our faith. Yes. You see now. Mm -hmm. You want to overcome the world, you must have faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. The question is, where are you going to get faith? From from the same preacher. From the preacher. Because you can't Because faith comes by hearing by the word. Hearing, yes. But you cannot hear the word without preaching. Without preaching. Yes. You need a preacher. Yes. For the way for you to hear the way. Yes. So, this is the message, brethren, that I wanted us to, 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 to hear, to listen. But I want, I wanted you also to understand that um, it is actually the grace of God. Yes. That God has actually took us by His hand. He dragged us from where we were, and actually put us. To his to his place, the place which he has actually created, the place which he actually prepared. Mm -hmm. So God prepared a place, and He prepared a place for our hiding. Mm -hmm. But what are we hiding for? If you remember where we started, <laughs> we have now we, we have been listing yes. the things, but of 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 more frequency mm -hmm. of the things that we are hiding for. Yes. It is the mouth. Yes, yes. Because we are talking about <laughs> uh, lips, 
Yes. Uh, that brings lies. Mm-hmm. He was talking about uh, strife of tongues. tongues yes. Then he was talking about uh, uh, men who are going to come with perverse yes. teachings. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> everything is come is coming from the mouth. Yes. That's why you have to be careful also mm-hmm. when the when the when the preachers are, are preaching. Mm-hmm. It is their mouth which they are using to preach the gospel. But what we have now seen from the scriptures is mm-hmm. as they open their mouth, yes. we don't hear their mind. We don't hear uh, the, the, the serpent or the dragon's mind. Yes. We hear the mind of God. So in God to hide, to, to put us unto himself. Yes. Because the only thing that the devil fights and knows that he's not going to win. Mm-hmm. He was defeated by our Lord. Yes. And he knows very well that anything that is I can go on a chuck Christ to chat. Yes. Anything of Christ, he knows very well that he is gone. Yes. He's defeated. Yes. But when he gets to a place mm-hmm. where there's nothing of Christ, yes. He's 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 actually certain that is going to overcome. So if you want to overcome the world, if you want to have victory, mm-hmm. if you want to uh, remain in the in the true church of God, yes. in the hiding place of God, mm-hmm. we should depend on God. Yes. We should depend on Him. Yes. So we hide in Christ. Yes. Our lives are now hid yes. in Christ. Mm-hmm. Upenyu wedu watawu kura rama, wawi kwa. Yes. Muna kilisu. Mm-hmm. We no longer live by our own. Yes. <laughs> we, we, we are hiding in Christ. Yes. yes. Taka wandi kwa muna kilisu. Mm-hmm. Taka wanda muna kilisu. Yes. Saka, kilisu wachari kupi. <laughs> That's why it's a secret. It is a secret that is only revealed to his, to his children. Yes. So that why you have to continue to hear the revelation. You have to continue to hear the word. Outside the hiding place, we are defeated. Outside yes. the gospel, we are defeated. But we wanted to trace yes. the things <laughs> that may you may be dragged outside Christ. Yes, yes. If you came to Christ through the minister of the gospel, mm-hmm. if you came to Christ through the minister of the gospel, yes. When you walk out of that minister, <laughs> who brought you to Christ? Yes. What assurance do you have that you are still in Christ? <laughs> because if you had come by your own, that's why uh, he said, I want us to read that scripture. It's, it's a very powerful scripture. Yeah. In, 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 in Psalm 31. Yes. Uh, you actually indicated you did not come alone. Yes. When you came to the gospel, Mm-hmm. You did not come alone. Wakao ya wega ile. Kwete ya vita. Wakao ya kupangeli. Hauna ku ya wega. Mhm. Ndiki ka. Yes. Wakao ya na ashe. Mhm. Verse 20. Psalm 31. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the yes pride. from from the pride of men. Yes. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion. From the strive of tongues. From the strive of tongues. Yes. Pesa apa. Hapana chako. Yes. Chao chao wakaita. So I was asking you a question. Mm-hmm. If you are listening to me very carefully, I'm asking a question. For you to, if it is God who brings people to the hiding place, mm-hmm. according to Psalm 21 verse, yes. 31 verse 20, it is God who is going to hide them. Yes. They are not going to hide by themselves. Yes. And that is the testimony that we all have. That is if we are in the hiding place. Yes, yes. It did not come by your own. Mm-hmm. You actually attest that it is God who has brought me here. Yes. Otherwise, on my own, I could, I could not have made it to be in this place. Yes. But my question is, for you to say it is God who has brought me here, there are men who were sent by God to bring you there. Yes. Those men... The reason why it's true to say mm-hmm. it's God who has brought you to that place, mm-hmm. it is because the men that God has used, sent. They, that God has sent, mm-hmm. they, they are sent by God. Yes. They belong to God. Mm-hmm. So it's equally true to say it is God who has brought me here. Yes. But it is equally true to say 
it is the minister of the gospel who have brought, brought me, me here. here. Yes. Which means you did not know this place. Yes. Because this place, this, this place remember, mm-hmm. it is a secret. Yes. Yes. It is the secret mm-hmm. of God's presence. Yes. We did not know that the whole Bible talks about Christ. Mm-hmm. It was God's secret. Yes. We did not know that uh, the, the, the mystery of, of the Godhead, mm. that it can go that far. Mm-hmm. Last time we were learning about the eyes mm-hmm. of God, yes. which goes to and fro. We were learning about the Holy Spirit. Yes. We were learning about why is there no Holy Spirit on the throne. Mm-hmm. But the Holy Spirit is there on the throne, but <laughs> why is there no, no, not mentioned? Of Holy Spirit on the throne, mm-hmm. we discover that when Christ is on the throne, yes. when we see the eyes that He has yes. when He's sitting on the throne, those eyes, those are the, those are the, Holy, Spirit. the Holy Spirit that mm-hmm. that represents the Holy Spirit. Yes. It's a mystery, yes. which means everything we are learning, we are getting into that place and discovering that it is a secret yes. place mm-hmm. because no one knows that. Yes, for you to get to a secret place, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's a it's a, it's a wonder. Yes. It's a miracle. Mm-hmm. Something that you have to thank God. Yes. I don't know how I arrived at this place. Mm-hmm. But God sent his servant to bring you to that place. Yes. <laughs> you did not go on your own. Yes. But when you start now a journey to go on your own, because mm-hmm. when you then start to say, I'm now doing this. Mm-hmm. But when you came to the faith, you were not doing what you think. You were following the message that the minister was preaching to you. But all of a sudden, you have now gotten to a place where you now think you can do things on your own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, think, you think you can attain perfection on your own. Ah, the perfection is yes. I'm not going to bust this. But I'm going to go to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. Reading downwards. So we need so for God to bring us to perfection, He had to send apostles mm-hmm. and, and evangelists and, and pastors and teachers. Mm-hmm. So what it means is I cannot perfect myself, mm-hmm. which means I cannot obtain perfection outside the ministers that are sent by God. Yeah. That's the only messenger who can bring this perfection. But how is this perfection coming? It is coming through the way. Yes. We are being sanctified mm-hmm. by the washing of the of the water, by the word. You believed when you when you came to this hiding place. Yes. You believed that you need the ministers for your for your perfection. You are there because the ministers preached unto you, and you believed the message. But all of a sudden, you are now wiped yes. by the uh, by by the flood. Mm-hmm. The question is, how were you wiped? by the flood, the answer is you walked away of the hiding place. Kubuda mu Egypt, ushinda u Kenan, unoda Moses. Yes. But kujogera ku Egypt, awudu Moses. Yes. How go no to jogera ku Egypt, what in the Tripa Mujetana Moses? Because they are walking in, in, in mm. different directions. Yes. So, it is the word, brethren, that we are receiving, this word is the one that it brings faith, it generates faith in us. Mm-hmm. And without faith, we cannot overcome the world. Yes. We cannot overcome the wicked one. Yes. Aumbungwari, degungwara kana kudzidza, kwa ita watu wanawakunde satan. Tungada iti sinama educated fool. Yes. There is no intelligence that can overcome the devil. Mm-hmm. There is no strategy that can overcome the devil. Yes. It is the faith that can overcome the world, yes. the devil. Mm-hmm. And that faith, you need to hear the word. Mm-hmm. And that word, you need to hear from those who are sent. Yes. So, God created a hiding place for us, brethren. Yes. And he is the one who brought us into this hiding place. May we stay in the hiding place for the 1,260 days. Yes. Knowing very well that the dragon was given time, mm. 42 months, yes. to do, to have a mouth that speaks great things and, and blasphemies. blasphemies. Mm-hmm. So I thank God uh, for this message. 
we've come to the end of the message today. Yeah. I hope you have been blessed uh, by the word. <laughs> I hope wherever you are, uh, the Lord is going to help you. The journey is not yet over. Yes. The 1,260 days are not yet over. As long as we are still in that dispensation, may we remain at the place where God has actually prepared for us. Yes. God took time to prepare this place, mm -hmm. knowing very well mm -hmm. that there is no other place which is safe. Yes. So you must not fool yourself. You must not be very proud. Remember, the other thing is why we are in this uh, hiding place, Brother Nelson. Yes. Is so that we escape the pride of men. The pride of men. Yes. The love of the world, which we read in yes. the first one chapter two. Yes, the pride of men. Yes. There is the pride of men. Mm -hmm. And when we are talking about the pride of men, we think about other men. But sometimes we are addressing the pride that is inside of you. Yes. The last of the pride. Yes. Mm -hmm. Especially pride. Yes. Because pride has got an element of. Uh, uh, not willing to submit, yes. not willing to believe that this one was sent mm -hmm. by God and this one was given grace. Yes. Pride says, why, why not me? Mm -hmm. why, why him and why not me? Mm -hmm. Pride says, I can also do that which he does. Yes. Pride does not take into cognizance grace. Yes. Because what differentiates ministration is not our desire to compete. Mm -hmm. It is grace. Yes. Grace eliminates competition. Mm -hmm. You cannot compete uh, if grace is put as the basis. Yes. Even when you are apostles, you cannot compare and compete. Even Peter, if he wanted to compete with Paul, it was not possible. Mm -hmm. Because Paul was not doing it out of competition. It was out of grace. Yes. But pride now, pride says, why him? Or why not me? That is pride. When you are rebuked, you st instead of, of, of admitting mm -hmm. that I was wrong, you start to say, why didn't they rebuke Evangelism Apollo? Because Evangelism Apollo also is also doing this. Mm -hmm. Why are they not rebuking Brother Nelson? <laughs> why are they rebuking me? But if you go to hospital and you are given medication, you do not complain. Why are you giving me medication? <laughs> why are you not giving other people who are at home? medication. You know very well that I'm sick, yes. I need to recover. Mm -hmm. So it is pride that comes into play. Mm -hmm. But for us to escape this pride now, we need faith. Yes. We have to stay in the hiding place. Mm -hmm. That's where we are safe. Yes. Tanko tanga kuita zveku zvikudza. Unotanga kuti ona wega kuti ah tapesa. Yes. Vanhu vese vano zvikudza. Because we do not have time. Kuna mm -hmm. Because we are not going to have time. time. <laughs> they will see that pride does not preach. Pride, it gives you, it elevates you to put you on a place or on a platform mm -hmm. that you will never arrive or you never get to. You start to think that you are great mm -hmm. or you are a great preacher. And when you start to think like that, when you see a minister preaching, you say, ah, no, if they have given me, I would have preached better. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying, if we had time, Brother Nelson, yes. we would give you two hours. <laughs> those who think pride can you preach, or those who think competition can you preach, yes. we we'll give you time and just observe. We will not be there to prove you wrong. If we had time, we we'll just give you. Mm -hmm. Some of you will come and say, I know Pastor Balay, even 10 minutes, I think I, you start to repeat what you have said or <laughs> you start to cancel other things that you have been speaking. Yeah. <laughs> and you start to, con to be confused. You're asking those you are preaching to, what was I saying? Yeah? What was I saying? Did I say this one? <laughs> or I never said that. But you said you can also preach. Mm. And come and preach. It is grace that we function with in the New Testament. Yes. So we thank God, brethren. I hope you are blessed. We've come to the end.
So when you hear the word of God, which is centered on Christ, just like the uh, sermon you just received, you hear that the word has tricked your heart and you want to be saved. You may ask me a question, what is it that I'm required to do? So if you go to the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 38, we see again Apostle Peter's response to those who have uh, their hearts pricked and they were asking, what should we do? We've heard the message, we've heard the gospel. What is it that is required of us to do? Or what is the next step? I want to be saved. Then on verse 38, uh, then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name uh, of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So when you repent, that is uh, when you hear the word of God, you want to, uh, to follow the word of God, you want to repent to the word of God. You have to do that repentance. After repentance, you go for water baptism and then you are going to be baptized of the Holy Spirit. That is the procedure for your salvation. After you receive Holy Spirit, you are going to sit down in the house of the Lord and continue to learn the word. But the starting point is the confession to salvation. So if you are hearing me, if you have heard the message and you want to be saved, you must do the confession of salvation. And you must do this confession after me. I want you to raise up your hand wherever you are and then make this confession after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you because of the word that I've heard. I confess with my mouth that you are Lord and that God raised you from the dead. I confess that I'm a sinner who can only be saved by believing the word which is talking about your suffering. I thank you because you died for me on the cross so that my sins can be forgiven. I thank you because you have demonstrated that you love me and I can only be saved by submitting to the word of God which I have heard. I thank you, Lord, because you have sacrificed your life for my salvation. Amen. So if you have made this confession and what is awaiting you is baptism, like I said, we have uh, the conduct details, our conduct details in all the regions, uh, they are always displayed on the screen. Uh, you just check the number which is close to the region where you are and you get hold of the, the leaders or the people responsible in that particular region. They are going to help you to know, number one, uh, when we are going to be having baptism, probably in your region, or if it is not going to be in your region, you may know the dates and the time when baptism is going to be held here in, in Harare, in Zimbabwe. And we encourage you, there's nothing which can hinder you from being baptized. You can travel from wherever you are for the purpose of baptism. And number two, the people will help you as well to know the place where other believers are gathering so that you will not be alone. You should fellowship with other believers so they help you to know where the other believers meet. So if you do that and continue learning the word of God, you are going to be stronger and stronger in the doctrine. So that is uh, what I wanted you to know uh, pertaining what you should do after this confession to salvation. We hope that you have been blessed by the word. Continue listening to the gospel for the benefit of your spirit. Join us in our next service. Goodbye.